Hey everybody, this is Matt, and today's video I have for you an Adventures of series, uh, the Adventures of Labyrinth in the Duelist Cup Stage 2. So, uh, I already dropped my video for Stage 1 of the Duelist Cup. Um, Y'all probably already saw it and noticed that, uh, yeah, a lot of the duels were kind of meme slash troll. There weren't very many good matchups. Um, it was definitely a lot easier to climb than, than ranked, that's for sure. Uh, but, uh, Duelist Stage 2 is upon us, and in this stage... I'm starting to see actual, like, better duelists and better decks. Well, maybe better decks. I don't know about better duelists because, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! duelists are notoriously terrible at Yu-Gi-Oh! But anyway, um, yeah, so let's get into that. Uh, in terms of, um, you know, what's my goal for duels, Duel Stage, Duelist Cup Stage 2? So as I've done Duel Stage, uh, Duelist Cup uh, in the past, um, I've already voiced my complaint that the, the problem I have with Duelist Cup is that it's highly dependent on raw number of games you play. And not as much dependent on like 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 they don't like their their point system for ranking players is not based on an ELO system system for, for as far as I'm aware. Um, it seems to just be a function of whoever has time to play the more more games is probably going to be on top like of the rankings. Um, so yeah, it seems to have less to do with actual yeah. So that's that's the problem. I say every time they they send out a survey uh, for the dual cup, I always write hey. Uh, I'm a functioning, I'm a relatively functioning adult with other things going on in my life. I don't have time to play 100 or 200, 300 or 400 games of Yu-Gi-Oh! during this Duelist Cup for me to even get to that high of a ranking. Um, you know, can you please change this to an ELO system? So it, it like feels like the, a more accurate ranking, right? Of uh, skill or what win rates or whatever. But of course, they never change that. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know what rank I'm going to end on. Because um, again, I, I have plans uh, Friday, I have plans Saturday, I have plans Sunday. So whenever I get time, I'll pl I have time, I'll play. But like, there's no way I'm, I can like realistically just have enough time to just sit down and grind however many games it takes like the people who are currently on the top 10 ranking list to, to get there. Because they, they, those people play a lot of games, like a lot of games. Anyway, whatever. Uh, let's get into the first duel. Uh, yeah, they don't show the deck pro. You can't check the deck list yet, but um, yeah, just like in the last video, I'll, I'll start to remember some of these duels, and then I'm, I'll announce what the matchup is. So yeah, duel number one, Labyrinth against, uh, let's find out. I do go second here. Uh, Snake Eyes, great opener. Yeah, I believe this might have been my first game of Sage 2. And they want to die Bella Star. Uh, yep, Poplar set uh, original sinful spoils. Poplar add Temple. Temple get Oak. Uh, Ash was a normal summon here. Uh, Poplar was a special. Was a special. Wait, or was that? No, or maybe original sinful. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, they have already used their normal summon. Yeah, at some point. And there's IP Mascarena. You'll note that I did not open evenly match, but I did open pot. Um, however, uh, as a as a spoiler, I'm not going to draw into evenly match neither through my uh, six card top deck nor through pot. However, I am going to do something funny, as you'll soon see. Anyway, Amblo Whale. All right, cool. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and draw our six card. It's um, Lady, which is you know okay. Uh, Honestly, like when I already have two welcomes in hand, I'd rather draw another a fifth trap, but that's okay. Ladies, ladies, fine. Uh, extra for six. Uh, they're gonna flamberge the IP out right away, and then I'm gonna draw Lord and, and the field spell. Okay, these are pretty good top decks, right? Actually, this is a great fucking hand. I have the field spell, which synergizes amazingly well with torrential primer cannon, and obviously the welcome cards. Right, as it gives me some pops. I have Lord to protect my back row. I have Lady that can literally summon herself for free off of any of these cards. Right, this is a very good hand. But I do not have evenly matched, and I'm going second. Right. So what do I do here? <laughs> what you, well, what you do is you play as if you have evenly matched. So I literally <laughs> attempt to enter battle phase, and when I do, so I, I literally click, you know, go to battle phase. My opponent gets a pop up. Uh, your opponent is. Uh, this is the end of main phase. You want to activate any effect, and then they use IP at Masquerina. So there you. <laughs> but yeah, so the best part of evenly match isn't. I mean, yeah, if you have the card, it's great. 
but it's the threat of the card that is just mwah, so beautiful, right? Because so there's so many effects that you can only use in, in main phase, right? You can only use IP Masquerade in main phase. You can only use uh, Blondery's Dreamy Town in main phase, right? You can only use Vanquish, Vanquish Soul stuff in main phase, right? So I don't have evenly matched, but it doesn't fucking matter. I, I attempt to enter battle phase to force IP Mascarena to do something, right? So they do. They, they use my IP Mascarena. So instead of going to a Nightmare Unicorn, they go into a 4 mature Appalooza. Cool. <laughs> a completely worthless card that uh, doesn't really affect me in the, in the slightest. And in fact, I could, I, could bait, I could bait the negates so easily with Lord and Lady in hand, right? So they're going to do their, their whole uh, recycling thing, right? Uh... Yeah, uh, so the dragon got the two level ones, and then uh, the poplar got a thing, and then oak got another thing. And then they're going to get uh, Div Incarnate, which is weird. So I'm in battle phase now, <laughs> and I just go to main phase too. <laughs> no evenly match, but it doesn't matter because they wasted their IP on a fucking map lose instead of a Nightmare Unicorn, for example. So I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, so let's use Lord, uh, bait that, that uh, Appalooza, cool. Uh, let's activate the field spell, set four, and activate lady, and that's going to bait an Appalooza. So Appalooza's already 1,600, uh, so, so here's what, this is one of the reasons why I don't think Appalooza should be banned, um, uh, because, like, Appalooza negates without destroying the card, and that's a, that's a very huge distinction, right, because you don't actually lose resources off of being negated off, off of Appalooza, whereas you do against Burn the Fleur, right, so I was, during my ban list uh, prediction video, I talked about Oh, uh, why Why I think Barone is more of a problematic card, right? Yeah, Barone and Appaloosa are both generic monsters and, and like, negates that um, can just pretty much any just be splashed in any combo deck, right, uh, end board. Uh, but Appaloosa has so many better ways to counterplay it, right? It's like, I like I just activated two hand effects and then forced a negate, and I still have these hand effects. So I can still summon Lady next turn. I can still theoretically summon Lord next turn, right? This, so... See how I just like kind of just blew these two monster gates and like I didn't lose any resources. All they did was make their Appalooza weaker. So now like I can literally run her over with an Ariana if I wanted to, right? So yeah, that's fine. Um, but here's the thing, folks. I'm I'm sitting on a Karma Cannon <laughs> versus a Link deck, and yeah, they're just gonna <laughs> this card is gonna single handedly like just win the game, like as you'll soon see. Uh, they're gonna make Hita, the Fire Charmer. Uh, okay, Poplar. Uh, yep. Oak, Flamberge. Now they go into battle phase. Uh, cool. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Karma Cannon in battle phase, which will Book of Moon the three monsters that they summon this turn, I believe, or or maybe that Bellstar was. I don't, it doesn't matter. These two are new, so they can't flip again. Uh, and then it's gonna get rid of all three of their links. And since this doesn't count as being destroyed, uh, this effect doesn't trigger, right? Yeah, Karma Cannon is insanely cracked. So then I bring out Lady because I because Appalooza is gone now, and now I have uh s like so many so much follow up. Right, they're gonna go ahead and uh, Divine Temple into Oak and bring back uh, their Ash, but that's and that's fine because like again, none of this does anything, right? So they're gonna wanted Link Karibo. Okay, I, I don't know what the fuck they're doing here. I, I'm just gonna go ahead and Torrential, and I'm gonna chain Lady, right? Um. Uh, and then I'm going to chain in, into Ice Dragons. So I'm going to pop their board, since they have five monsters. Uh, and then Amblo Will is going to attempt to pop a card. Uh, I'm going to use the um, the field spell to revive Lady. Lady comes back. They pop my field spell. That's that's okay. Maybe I should not have Torrential. I don't know. But um, I just saw five monsters, and I just thought that, like, they already used... i um, pretty sure they already used Flamberge and... They ever used like most of their effects, so I don't, I don't think it mattered. Anyway, uh, yeah, so they're gonna do some stuff. Okay, and then I'm gonna, I'm, they're going to Diabellastar. I'm gonna chain Welcome, uh, bring out Lovely here. They're gonna put set their 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 their, their trap, which is the the negate, right? Um, and now I'm gonna, okay, they're gonna uh, pop into Promethean. Um, I'm going to bring L L Lovely back using Big Welcome. Um, bounce lady, and then Lovely's gonna get a pop. Uh, they're going to impermit. Okay, that's cool. Another Karma Cannon. Man, this card is cracked. Uh, activate Lord. Uh, Lovely to reset Karma Cannon. They're gonna chain, uh, Effect Veiler. Negate Lovely. And then I'm gonna chain Lady to summon it. And then they're gonna chain Sinful Spoils Betrayal to negate 
uh, to negate lovely again for some fucking reason. So lovely is just negated. Cool. Um, okay. And then I'm just going to kill this thing. Uh, the oak, right? So on draw phase, I'm going to go ahead and, and big welcome bounce Promethean because I don't want to deal with this card. And plus, like, now that it's back in the extra deck, it can no longer use this grave red effect, right? So goodbye. Uh, lovely one, welcome to. I know Lovely's still negated, but, you know, whatever. Okay. Uh, wanted. Put back the negate. Okay. Diabella Star. To Link Rebo. They're going to reset the negate. Uh, just kind of pointless. Here comes the Ash. Uh, they're going to get Jet Synchron. Okay. They're going to make Assemble Nightingale. Uh, so this is a Zeus player, right? So they go into battle phase. And I'm going to go ahead and Karma Cannon. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's read what this negate says. Um, send a die bell star monster from your hand or face up face up field to the graveyard. So by flipping die bell star face down, this negate is actually turned off, right? So they can't use it unless they have one a die bell star in hand. And given that they have uh one in their graveyard, I don't think they have one in hand, right? Uh, but, but another thing that's so this is gonna stop the Zeus play. But another thing is that um, when Lovely gets flipped face down and then fl a flip summons back, uh, her effect's gonna be back, so she's not gonna be negated anymore. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and get Punishment. And then I'm going to go ahead and Lord into uh, Foolish Barrel Goods because I want to mill a uh, Transaction Rollback. Since I have like I have Karma Cannons in the graveyard, right? Um, so, yeah. Their plays are over. They can't use the extra Monster Zone because Nightingale is there. Uh, so they can't Link Summon. Um, yeah, next turn I flip summon uh, little uh, lovely uh, lady. I I foolish barrel goods. Um, full, uh, transaction rollback. I swing into all their cards. Right, uh, destroy their nightingale. Um, do I bother? To, uh, do I even bother destroying the Diabella Star because they have the face down the gate? Um. Maybe. Uh, if I do, I can probably Ice Dragons. Well, the thing is, I have game, right? So let's oh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, because I have three big bodies on the board. I can Ice Dragons one of their monsters for another big body. So, yeah, like basically, the, the Lovely is going to reset Karma Cannon. So the point is, they're never ever going to be able to set up a board ever again because I'm going to have double Karma Cannon threat on them, right? One reset from Lovely, uh, one in the uh, in the graveyard uh, using Transaction Rollback, and I also have a big Welcome, so I can also just like return Lord to my hand, like, and I can just pop their their negate, right, or uh, or pop their field. So like, I, I get a pop, right? Uh, but yeah, I have game either way. They surrendered. Uh, I think they realized that. Um, they can't really do anything here, so yeah. Snake eyes get wrecked. Uh, duel number two. Labyrinth versus. I have a pretty good opening hand. Oh, I'm going second in the end. Labyrinth versus. Uh, runic. Oh, I remember this. Uh, I think this is Runic Stun, which is hilarious because uh, Runic has one fucking fountain remaining. Like, it's it's like insane to me how much weaker Runic is with only one fountain. Like, it's a noticeable difference. Like, Runic was Runic found one to two in the TCG did nothing because like semi limiting fountain is actually a fucking joke. Like, if you're if you're an employee at Konami that made the executive decision and everyone evolved to put uh, fountain at two and not to one or zero. You're, you should actually be fired because that's literally the most brain dead, retarded decision I could possibly imagine. Like, there's no, there's no, there's no, like, good reason for putting Fountain at two if you actually want Runic to, to like, power level to be changed, right? Like, there's, there really isn't. There's no, there, there's no re good reason for it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and extrav here because extrav is usually better than uh, prosperity. So I draw a fuck ton of monsters, which is very bizarre, but uh, that's fine. They're going to really the spelling to make me discard uh, Ariana. That's fine. Uh, I have another one. Um, okay, they're going to draw two. Sure. I'm activate Lord. Uh, set normal Ariana. They're going to negate it. Sure. 
Uh, set prosperity, activate lady, uh, kill this, and then it's going to return the extra deck. Okay. Yeah, so Lord's protecting my back row. Uh, lady is untargetable, undestructible by card effects. Lady is very good against Runic. Like, how how does Runic deal with Lady? They can't, right? If I get out two, if I get two ladies out, like they literally cannot deal with Lady. It's it's like a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. It's like, how does Runic out Red Eyes Dark Dragoon? They can't. <laughs> but they're gonna put out the Fangs, sure. End phase, okay. So activate Lord again. Battle. Kill this. This is going to remove Ariana. That's fine. And then Lady's just going to swing for 3k. Main 2. I'm going to uh, Prosperity here. I'm going to go ahead and grab a Foolish Barrel Goods. Um, I'm going to roll back, uh, send Rollback. Set. Even though I don't have any, any targets for Rollback, it's like... Just in case I need it. They normal summon Fossil Dyna, which is hilarious. Fossil Dyna also does nothing against Lady, right? Runic Stun is like Stun or Runic Stun is just such a cringe deck. It's like <laughs> it's just strictly worse than other control decks you could be playing, you know? Especially with Fountain at one. Like if Fountain was at three, like maybe, but like anyway. So I'm gonna welcome Chain Lady and bring out a second lady. It's like, what is Runic? How is Runic gonna out two ladies? They fucking can't. Okay. And they're just gonna scoop. Yeah, like what? You can't target lady. <laughs> and Lord protects my back row, so you can't even target my back row. So GG. <laughs> and I think destruction was also limited or something too, right? Yeah. Anyway, duel number three. That oh, was a two turner. I've actually seen a, a surprising number of like stunt runic runic uh, variants. Uh, runic stun variants in, in stage two, which I have not seen in stage one, right? I go first this time. Uh, set three, pass. So, fight for patchwork. Oh, Brandon, okay. So, Brandon High Spirits. The cool part about uh, Brandon is that um, because brand opening is at one. It's much easier to clear the board with cards like Torrential. However, Brandon Loss still uh, stops Torrential, which is fucking aggravating that they have Brandon Loss. That, that, oh, you can't respond to summons. Like, that's so stupid. Anyway, they make Dragos to Pelia, which is very bizarre. I'm like, wh why why, why would you not make Mirror Jade? But whatever. Uh, I don't Torrential because I'm my, my I'm thinking they're still going to make Mirror Jade. I'm going to Torrential when they make Mirror Jade. But then they just go into battle phase and swing for 27. I'm like, uh, so you're not going to make Mirror Jade? Okay. Uh, main two and phase. Okay, I'm gonna welcome Chain Lady. Uh, so this is hilarious. So this is how you know Yugo Pillars are, are bad, right? So why do I summon Stove Torby? So I want to summon Ariana, but if I summon Ariana, they chain this this uh, this guy, and then they get Ariana, and then Ariana doesn't get a search. However. <laughs> Uh, little does this guy know because he doesn't fucking read cards. He's gonna try and negate Torby, but I can literally chain link two Torby, sending itself and and uh, lovely to the graveyard to get the field spell. Cool story, bro. You use your once per turn negate on a fucking Torby. Wow. I, I purposely did that to ba to see if he if if he would uh be baited right. But if he did, wasn't baited, I would still Torby and send uh, lovely to get this field spell out right. But now that they've used it in end phase, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to big welcome chain lady. Set a punishment. Lovely comes out. Lady comes back. Love is going to pop. Torby's going to return. Yeah, and then they just scoop. Wow. <laughs> Lovely didn't just pop that one card on their hand or field. It popped all their cards. Great. <laughs> They're just going to scoop. Yeah. Uh, I probably would have popped Drago's to Pelia, I want to say. Um, because I don't care that much about their back row and uh yeah and then <laughs> i mean this game was so unbelievably over it was so over um a master winfu that's funny uh all right duel number four <laughs> can't believe that brandon player was in stage two like how did you get like how do you not make mirror jade there i don't i don't get it Oh, wait, maybe they didn't have Albaz. I didn't see if they had Albaz or not. Maybe they didn't. But they don't even end on, like, a Masquerade or something? I go second here. End phase. 
uh, set two and end. So unfortunately, evenly is only going to trade one for one here. But it's like, well, I mean, I'm not going to have another opportunity evenly unless it's in the graveyard and I use a rollback, right? So I'm just going to evenly now. Yeah, I'll get rid of one of the cards. That's fine. Activate Lord. Uh, set four. I don't remember. I think this is a Snake Eyes. I want to say they go into battle phase. And which makes you think, oh, is this face down card evenly? Let's find out. Uh, they're going to max C. Um, so I'm going to grab Lady. So if they evenly, they get two cards, right? Oh, no. Uh, they're not evenly. They're just... Oh, wait. This is not Snake Eyes. This is fucking Ubi Control. Derp. Uh, there's an Ocean Lord. They're going to summon it out. Uh, I'm going to summon Lady since I, uh, I used Big Welcome earlier. And then uh, I'm going to punishment onto the Ocean Lord bef uh, because this is a normal summon and because I don't want them to get a search out, right? Uh, this has a slow effect, uh, main phase search. So uh, punishment chain uh, lady, I'm going to set welcome. By the way, rivalry is like GG against uh, Umi control, by the way. Um, but I'm not going to flip rivalry because I want to summon Lord. I get welcome. I send Entis. Entis is going to pop their back row. No point in popping Legendary Ocean because like they probably have so many copies of Umi, right? Via uh, Sea Stealth 2, uh, Legendary Ocean. Like, uh, yeah, th there's no point in popping Umi most of the time. Yeah, obviously, Entis 1, Lord 2. Uh, set Big Welcome. Pop uh, TC Boo. Okay, that's, that's cool, I guess. Uh, triple Tactics to draw 2. They're going to Gamma Seal my Lady, which is hilarious, because I have a fucking Big Welcome, right? Thanks, thanks, I guess. For a free body. They're going to imperm here. I'm going to big welcome. Uh, which can literally like return Lord, dodge imperm, and and it fizzles, right? Uh, if they imperm again, I, ha I have Karma Cannon. So yeah, imperm was never going to go through. Anyway, they're just going to scoop because uh, I think they know like it's pretty much like I, I literally bring out Lovely here, pounce Lord, we get a pop. Uh, Lord can return. I have a, and then uh, this can revolve, resolve into Ariana and Lady. It's, it's, just, yeah, the game is just, it's it, yeah. Uh, duel number five. Uh, lab, is this Labyrinth versus Labyrinth? They do have a Labyrinth, Lady Labyrinth icon. I'm trying to remember if this is a mirror match. It might be. Pretty good opening hand. I think this is a mirror match. Yep, all right, yep, it is. There you go. Second Ariana into Shindraglier. Set one. Wow, set one. That's so sad. Oh, okay. They 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 Draglier would roll back into a big welcome. Okay. But the fact that they only set two here is like very alarming. I'm gonna so I'm gonna go ahead and on end phase summon Lady. They're gonna max C. Sure. I'll let, they can draw a card. So they're gonna big welcome. I'm gonna chain Lady, and then they're gonna chain Imperm. So unfortunately. Yeah, uh, having that second imperm, I'm not going to get a back row, and then Lovely can, if they bring out Lovely, they can theoretically pop Lady now. So, oh well. They're going to pop Lady, that's fine. So, I'll activate Lord, a normal Ariana. They're going to roll back into imperm. That really? You're going to use roll back into imperm? Wow, that's that's actually fucking cringe. Like, of all the, fu all the trap cards in your deck, you're gonna roll back imperm in to negate an Ariana. That's so fucking. That's so cringe. That's that's actually pathetic. Like if you're watching this, dude, that is actually pathetic. Rolling back into an imperm, it, like that's so stupid. Like there's so many better uses of rollback. Anyway, they're gonna send Draglier, send Ari, set big welcome. Okay, cool. All right, so they're going to uh, Nadir servants, uh, Senentis. Uh, get uh, Ecclesia, and this is going to attempt to pop my Torrential Tribute, but because they don't know how to read cards, uh, Lord is just going to protect it. Normal Ariana, chain Torrential. Uh, goodbye, Lady. If they chain Big Welcome Peter, put Lady back in, Lovely back into their hand, it's still a brick. So whether Lovely is in the hand or graveyard, it's a brick no matter what. So it, yeah, it's just as bricky. So, goodbye. Uh, so they went into Ku Clock. If they had gone into Lady, I have Solemn Strike and I kill Lady, right? And then they can't Big Welcome. So they're using a normal summon. I'm going to go ahead and summon Lord. They're going to who clock with no Labyrinth monsters on the field. Okay. Uh, set big welcome here. And they're just going to scoop. Yeah. Uh, that was like such a sad game, right? That was such a sad game. Dude, if you had it rollbacked on Imperm, you would have had rollback 
for a potential big welcome play, right? So you could have had two big welcomes, right? You have the big welcome in your field to, uh, well, like you, you could have brought out Lady, you could have brought out, you could have done so much more if you just roll back into a big welcome instead of into Imperm. But like, yeah, most lab players are, are like so fucking de deranged and brain dead and are thinking that Imperm is a good card. I, like, I literally, like, it blows my mind that there are Labyrinth players who think this, right? Um, but yeah, like, <laughs> nice Imperm, bro. <laughs> uh, so how did that Dogmatica package Imperm? They're probably maxed out on furniture build workout for you. You still lost, you lost going first. Usually in mirror matchups, this is the case. This is true for most decks. In most mirror matchups, the deck that goes first typically wins. Assuming that, like there isn't an obvious brick on one side or the other. Like assuming both players have relatively similar strength hands, right? The player that goes first in a mirror matchup typically wins the game, wins the matchup, right? Tip in mirrors, right? I didn't brick. Doesn't look like they break. They drew everything. They they you know they drew they they drew what appeared to be an average hand for their deck build, right? But the thing is, their deck build is just so much worse than mine that it didn't even matter that they went first. Like I still won the mirror matchup. Also, their decision to roll back into Imperm was actually the most cringe shit I've ever seen. Never do this if you're a lab player. That's holy fuck. That that was pathetic. All right, duel number six. Um. Let's see. Labyrinth versus uh <sighs> one second. They set two. Uh, I'm gonna Torby send rollback, chain lady, summon lady, set a big welcome. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is a snake eyes player, yeah. So I draw it evenly, so I can't evenly, but it's like evenly for one card, eh, doesn't matter that much. Uh, plus, when Torby comes back, uh, it's going to send evenly, and then I'm going to have evenly roll back in my graveyard anyway. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and battle here. They're going to big welcome. Oh, wait, this is not a, a Snake Eyes. This is a Labyrinth player that only was able to set two. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and chain Lady and set uh, Ice Dragons, because Ice Dragons is cracked, right? So they're gonna bounce lady and then they're they're gonna summon lady. Why are you summoning a lady in battle phase, dude? Bro, do you not understand how numbers work? Uh, three thousand attack, twenty nine hundred defense. Like what the fuck are you thinking? Did you like take the three thousand life points, dude? You're not gonna lose if you take three thousand life points. And by the way, if you if you're playing transaction rollback, I assume you are because you're like if you're not playing transaction rollback and you're a Lamin player, you're actually like a Muppet, right? But think about it. Transaction rollback costs you 4,000 life points to play, which is half your life points. So if you take 3,000, your next rollback will be will cost you less life points because it's going to be half of 5,000, not half of 8,000. It's like absurd, right? Like, why, why do you care about life points? It's, I don't even have lethal. If I had lethal here, yeah, you have to do that. But I do not have lethal, right? But anyway, I'm going to big welcome here. They're going to maxi. Lol. Imagine playing maxi. And it, chain DD ground. What? I mean, I get this is like a tech for Snake Eyes, but if you're going second this, against Snake Eyes, this card is like giga trash, right? Like in the TCG, I, I almost always side this card out against Snake Eyes if I'm going second. All right, so let's get a pop. Lovely one, uh, Stove 2. Uh, I'm going to pop uh, an Ash. That's that's hilarious. And it's banished because of different dimension ground. Okay. Main two, uh, reset, big welcome, bro. What is this? What is this labyrinth build where they have no cards? Like, what the fuck? Like, they set two past what? Set two again, okay. Uh, big welcome, chain lady. They're gonna, they're gonna lady again. <laughs> oh my god, this is. Oh, this dude is so dumb, bro. If you lady in end phase, in your end phase. Your lady is in defense position, and then my lady goes into attack position, and I kill your lady, just like I did the previous lady. Like, why are you doing this? I don't get it. Yeah, there's... Welcome. Bring out Ariana. Bounce the stove, because, again, like, stove doesn't matter if it's hand or field, right? Ariana 1, lovely 2. I'm using Ariana to draw a card, actually. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to search, because stove is already going to search the field spell. And then they're going to chain link 3 on, on clock. 
I'm going to Ice Dragons. Uh, chain Ice Dragons. So these two cards were set this turn, which means they do not have a... Uh, they do not have... They, they can't activate uh, a, a set Big Welcome, right? Um, the problem is, is that they do have a Big Welcome in their graveyard um, that they can use to banish and save their lady from being uh, banished. However, if they do that, uh, they they have a, an open field with no monsters, right? Uh, I'll have three. I'll have enough cards for game here. Lovely's gonna pop one of their face on cards. They're not gonna be able to use Kukla because they won't have a labyrinth card on, on their a monster on their field. And if they do somehow get a labyrinth monster, uh, I can roll back into into ice dragons, right? So this is like a disaster for this guy in so many ways, right? Um, so yeah, I'm going to target their lady. They're not going to chain big welcome to bounce their own lady. I guess they're going to let it happen. And then I'm just going to banish these two. Uh, so yeah, both their ladies are donezo. This is a, a, an utter disaster for this guy. And I'm going to pop this card, which is rollback, which is funny because, you know, now they can use rollback, but again, <laughs> and then I'm going to go yeah, evenly. They're going to roll back into a uh, big welcome and then put all around it. Bro. Why, why would you do this? In the end phase, like, you're not gonna. This is your end phase, bro. You're not gonna. This is, this is so sad. Why roll back here? I, like, the, the, you you gain nothing out of it except having your life points. Cool. It's easier for me to lethal you. I mean, I, I probably have lethal anyway. Anyway, so sto stove Torby. Uh, by the way, I drew into a second evenly. That's funny. Stove is gonna send evenly. Now I have I can roll back into evenly if I want to. Although my board will always be stronger than theirs, so I, I probably never roll. But I, I, yeah, I still have ice dragons, right? Uh, so get the field spell, okay? Dude, this game, this is so, like, how did you get to stage two, bro, my guy? How? Uh, they're gonna activate power sink stone, which is a baby uh, skill drain. Uh, set big welcome. Uh, lethal, yeah, I just have lethal. Like, cool. <laughs> Man, what a sad, sad... Like, what is this build? Power Sing Stone? Garbage going second, by the way. Like, it's a strictly worse skill drain. Because skill drain is amazing going second. Going second, Power Sing Stone is not good, right? Different Dimension Ground is not good. It's like, this dude strictly building for going first, like... Very sad. Anyway, uh, dual number was a seven. Is this a Snake Eyes player? Oh, yeah, so we are seeing more meta decks, but the pi the pilots of these decks are still, like, terrible. Um, the Snake Eyes player was probably, like, the, the least terrible one, but still pretty bad. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and set four here. Uh, keep it, I hold the trap trick because there's no point in setting it. Also, just in case they have evenly, I still want to have a follow-up, right? So if, let's say they evenly here, right? Uh, if they go into battle phase, I can big welcome um, into a lady. Send Lady to Hand, the Evenly. I get rid of Welcome and Punishment. Actually, uh, if they uh, if they actually go into uh, Evenly Matched, I would Welcome... Uh, let's see. I would Welcome into Ariana to, to search a Furniture, probably, or a Field Spell. And then I would Big Welcome in a Lady to get it into my hand. And then they even leave me for one card, which is punishment, and or two cards, which is punishment. Ariana, I hold trap trick, and I summon late after their battle phase. I summon lady back. Uh, lady can search a card off trap trick. Trap trick can search any any traps. For example, Karma Cannon would be an amazing uh, trap trick target, right? Because I can shut down whatever plays and try to make it main phase two. So yeah, like my ability to play through evenly match is like insane, right? It's it's so good. Okay, so there's a runic. So this is another runic deck. So runic tip. Uh, they're gonna use the, the Fissure. I'm gonna welcome. They're gonna tip, and then Maxi. There's a fountain. I'm just gonna bring out Lady because again, Lady cannot be targeted, right? Or destroyed by card effects. They're gonna use Time Terror Morganite to draw two cards from now on. The saddest part. So they just use Maxi, right? They they use Maxi in response to me summoning uh, uh, Lady, right? So they they would get a draw. However. They're under Prosperity. Prosperity says you cannot draw cards. You cannot draw cards by card effects to turn you activate this card, which means they literally threw Maxi in the dumpster for no reason. Good job, Yu-Gi-Oh! player who somehow made it to uh, DC Cup Stage 2. Like, what the fuck? 
By the way, under prosperity, they can't runic fountain draw to to draw cards. <laughs> yeah, so they're gonna go ahead and use freezing curses to summon this guy. And they have two runic cards in the graveyard, but because they're under prosperity, they can't actually use fountain to draw. How fucking pathetic is this? Like, how do you? This is such an oversight. How do you deck build and put prosperity into a runic deck with max C? Like, actual mind blowing. How the fuck? I, like, I, I, I my brain, I, I can't. I fucking can't. This is so pathetic. This is so bad. Right. Not only that, but like you, you should know how, how prosperity works, right? There's a reason you can't prosperity on the same turn you use extrav, right? You, you should be aware of this, right? If you if you draw extrav and and, pros, and prosperity, you can only play one of them. You you should know this, right? Why do you think that is? And if you if you do know that, then you should know that you can't max C under. Oh, this is I don't even know, man. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so big welcome labyrinth. Uh, chain lady, set, w regular welcome bounce lady. Uh, oh, they're they're not gonna draw off Maxi because prosperity. So I'm gonna pop their runic fountain, and this game is completely over. <laughs> I mean, I guess they can go into fangs to revive fountain, but like this is sad. This is so fucking sad. Reset big welcome battle. They're gonna use this to uh, only synchro monsters can attack. Uh, okay, sure. Welcome chain lady. Set karma cannon. Ariana. Get the field spell. They're going to gain a thousand. Sure, whatever. And they got to draw two cards. Cool. Good stuff. End phase. Big welcome. Chain lady. Set ice dragons. Just because. Uh, bounce Ariana. Pop this. Uh, lovely one to pop. Ariana two to draw. Uh, welcome three to reset. And then this is going to uh, special summon this guy. <laughs> Why? Uh, yeah, get Torby, pop that. And still end phase, punishment onto this guy. Send Entis, Entis effect, pop that. And then this, chain this. this dude, yeah, this, it was so over. It was completely over. Like, yeah, and, and then they just have a floodgate that I can easily deal with by the, just adding with welcome and I have I have game. But like, yeah, man, this is... That was a sad fucking game. Like, I can't believe this dude got to do DC Cup stage two. Like, this is actually bad. Duel number eight. I go second. <sighs> So Trap Tricks versus Ciccolo. Oh, it's a Trap Tricks deck. Trap Tricks, which gets completely dumpstered by Karma Cannon, by the way. It's like, why are you playing Trap Tricks? Just play fucking Labyrinth. You know Karma Cannon exists, right? You know people are playing Evenly Matched because of Snake Eyes. And you know this this deck gets wrecked by Evenly Matched, right? Like, like Arachnocampo does not protect against Evenly Matched. And all these monsters say unaffected by Trap Effects are also not affected by Evenly are Like, still get wrecked by Evenly Matched, right? So I don't have evenly match, but what I do have is a prosperity. So I'm going to go ahead and activate prosperity to, to let's see if I can get evenly matched. Strike, Torby, Torrential. Oh, there's evenly matched. I'll take one evenly match, please. Uh, <laughs> and then when they see me evenly matched, they go into Holotea. They, they, they use some effects to search. Okay, cool. They set a chain hole. They put that back in their hand. Battle phase, evenly. <laughs> oh man, what a fucking sad, sad game. Look at this. Main two, activate lore. Are you gonna chain into Gravedigger Trap Hole? Nope. Cause, you, Cause that would be stupid. Uh field spell set two. We're gonna summon Arachno Hampa. Yeah, Karma Cannon at any point to just, just like wipe out their board, right? So normal summon a thing, search a thing, uh, normal summon another thing, search a thing. Make Alomaris, okay? Cool. All of these monsters are going to get wiped out by Karma Cannon, by the way. They're going to pop the field spell. That's fine. I'll allow it. Make Time Thief Redoer using monsters. And then make Utopic Future. Wow. 
And then, uh, yeah, before they make a Draco Utopic, Utopian Future, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and Karma Cannon, which is going to put their Utopic Future face down, which means they can't, uh, ma like, they literally can't make the, the, the boss, big boss monster anymore. And it's going to get rid of this other uh, Traffic monster, right? So it's like, cool. Their entire board is cleared, and now I can summon Lord. Set big welcome, right? And then, yeah, they're just going to scoop, because, uh, I mean, <laughs> well, connection fail. Yeah, they, they, that's a scoop. They, they rage quit. <laughs> Man. It's like, why play Traffic? Just play Labyrinth. Labyrinth is strictly better than Traffic, and it's less degenerate. Like, in terms of, you know, lollies versus mommies, right? W girls but, uh, younger than the age of consent versus women above the age of consent. Just going to put that out there. Uh, so I go second, but they just kind of pass for some reason. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and Torby send uh, evenly and set big welcome. Normal summon. And Draglier, attack, big welcome. I'm pretty sure this is the Snake Eye player, finally. Lovely effect. Chain Torby. Pop. Uh, there's a, the Sinful Spoils of Betrayal. Four, five, six. I'm going to go ahead and take a Karma Cannon because I noticed they have a Snake Eyes deck and Karma Cannon is cracked, right? Lovely reset, big welcome. There's the Imperm, that's fine. Lo like, here's the thing, it, it, it's it's one of those, like, trade-offs that, uh, okay, if I reset big welcome, that means that um, I can't use a big welcome effect in the graveyard um, to bounce a card. Uh, but if I get negated like that by Imperm, now I can use its effect. So I have actually, like, so Imperm trades nothing, right? Because either way, I have an interruption on their turn, right? I either interrupt them using the field effect or I interrupt them using the graveyard effect. Either way, like imperming a, a lovely that's going to reset a big welcome where there's no when there's no uh, none other in the graveyard is like completely pointless. Like you're you're literally just throwing a card away, right? Because normally you want to imperm something so that I don't get a resource, but the resource I'm, I was getting is, is is still there. I still got I still have the resource that is big welcome labyrinth, right? So yeah, people who imperm that. Like, it's, they're, they're just brain dead, right? There's no... You can't tell me a, a, a logically good reason why you should stop me from resetting Big Welcome, right? Like, I guess they don't want me to use Lovely effects to pop on their turn by Big Welcoming into a lady and bouncing it, but then they can just Imperm Lovely on my turn. You see what I'm saying? Like, like, like when I when I do the pop. So it just, it just seems silly, right? It just seems very silly. Anyway, they're going to go ahead and Wanted, okay? I'm going to go ahead and welcome into Lady. They're going to battle phase. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bounce, uh, big welcome bounce Lady. Chain Lovely to pop uh, Die Bell Star. That's cool. They're going to evenly here. Uh, I'll actually keep the Karma Cannon because it's way too good of a card. So they, they have a second Die Bell Star, which is kind of funny. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and summon Lady. Poplar. Yeah, here's the thing. Like, like you, you, it's so easy to play through evenly match, right? Because not only do I have a Karma Cannon, but I have a rollback that can Karma Cannon twice if necessary, right? And, or I can just roll back into Welcome. So there's... Oh, they, 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 oh, they, they, they search this card. Hmm, I wonder how they're going to use this card. Are they going to try to target my monster to put it face up as a, as a continuous spell? Let's see if they try that. Yes, they're going to attempt to put Lady... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god read Yu-Gi-Oh players and reading ca cards challenge impossible so at this point they realize oh I can't target lady for some reason maybe because lady can't be targeted by card effects while I have a set card <laughs> so they're gonna set poplar here okay cool what a what a complete waste of a card that's so hilarious but they're gonna put that back in their deck for some reason I guess just get a draw also, can we please stop with the banish a card or draw card nonsense? So stupid. Anyway, they're going to use the field spell. Uh, they're going to send this. Bring out Oak. Oak is going to bring out this thing. Set this. Bring out that. They're going to send this to bring out this. Uh, they're going to 
make two t- two bodies. Now they're going to make IP Masquerina. So for those of you who are wondering uh, when to use Karma Cannon, this is a good point to use Karma Cannon, right? They've already used uh, Flamberge Effect to recycle two bodies. They've already used Oak, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's a special thing. And I'm pretty sure they've also used Ash. So they use all their main card effects. So at this point, you know what? Yeah. It, uh, you don't want them to go into Promethean Princess because th- that's the next step, right? Promethean Princess, uh, Revive Flamberge. So you're just going to say, all right, uh, no, goodbye. So uh, Varuma, Chain Lady. I'm going to set a big welcome here. Even, even though I don't have Lovely anymore because Lovely's banished, that's fine. I don't need Lovely to, to win this game. They're going to Tribute Summon. Wow, they Tribute Summon Fenrir. Oh my god, that is actually like fucking pathetic, right? Like, why would they do this? They just lost two bodies, right? Whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and Shandraglier, set the field spell, flip summon, activate the field spell, battle, goodbye, Fenrir. Big welcome, Chain Lady. Let's go ahead and set an uh, Ice Dragons, because that's a fun card against uh, a deck with Pyros and Dragons, right? So now this this Flamberge here is stuck here because I'm going to take out the field spell right off of uh, Big Welcome. So bounce this, pop that, goodbye. Uh, Stove and Shandraglia are going to come back, so our welcome. So, and then Lady. So Lady, welcome, Shandraglia, Stove. And actually, uh, in main phase two, uh, I make Chaos Angel. Um, uh, using these two, and I banish uh, this Flamberge, so now they don't even have that like option anymore. Like they, they only, they're only they're stuck at one Flamberge. They can't even use like you know original sinful spoils or anything to send. Like I'm just gonna banish this right in main phase two. But there's no main phase two because I, I just swing for game. Yeah, Karma Cannon completely wrecks Snake Eyes. Like please play three Karma Cannon and two Trap Trick. I'm telling you, this card is I. This motherfucker evenly matched me and had full combo, by the way. They had every card they, they wanted. They had Die Battle Star. They had Original Sinful. They had the Field Spell. They had Poplar, Ash, Oak, Flamberge. They were literally able to use all their card effects. It's like, who, 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 who would, it's like that meme. Who would win? Uh, <laughs> the, the, the tier zero meta deck full of, you know, uh, resource generating, uh, <laughs> uh, uh Net net plus to one plus two, uh, snake eyes cards or one destructive Daruma Karma Cannon boy. <laughs> That's literally like I, they evenly matched me and I just wrecked them with one Karma Cannon. I didn't even have to roll back to use Karma Cannon a second time. One Karma Cannon and they banished my lovely and I still won. Right? It's <laughs> yeah, snake eyes is not that big of a deal. Like Fire King Snake Eyes is annoying. Snake eyes not that. Menacing a deck. People comparing it to Tier Laments. Tier Laments at full power was much worse of a deck. Like, tier, I would, I'll would, take full I'll take full power Snake Eyes versus full power uh, Tier Laments any day of the week. It's not even close. Like, people would be comparing them to, right? Anyway, duel number 10. So I go first this time. So I'm going to Prosperity. Uh, so we should Rivalry evenly. Ariana. Foolish Barrel Goods. And this. Alright, let's play a game called What Card Should I Add to My Hand, right? So these are the six cards I saw. Rivalry, Evenly, Ariana, Foolish, Transaction, Welcome. So in a vacuum, you would take Ariana, normal Ariana, search uh, a stove, right? Or one of the furniture pieces, usually stove. Stove pitches big, uh, uh, rollback to the graveyard, sets big welcome to the field, right? And then you set the other three cards, and then you go to, to their turn with uh, Ariana with with a, a four set plus a karma uh, a, a rollback in the graveyard that can go into a, a karma cannon or into a torrential or into a big welcome, right? And then on their turn, you can big welcome uh, into um, lovely bounce Ariana, pop a card, right? And then the world's your oyster. In a vacuum, that would be the best choice. However, we have to play. We have to be a little smarter because because I'm using Pot of Prosperity here. Um, if they have a draw and lock bird and I add Ariana to my hand, I get drolled and Ariana is a dead card, right? Um, and then I end on a set three. 
So that that's what would happen if I added Ariana and they have a draw. What if they have Ash or Imperm? If I or Valor. If I add Ariana, I normal summon and they Ash Imperm or Valor. I end on Ariana with three set, right? So I basically get three plays on my opponent's turn, right? So the best choice here, again, I, I need engine, right? I don't have any labyrinth engine. Is to add welcome. Uh. Now, the reason I want to add Welcome is because, uh, well, I need Engine, first of all. Um, if they, worst, worst case scenario, if, if I Welcome, they have Ash, they stop Welcome. But then on a, on a future turn, I can Torrential the board, reset Welcome from the graveyard, and I still have Engine. You see what I'm saying? Like, So, in this case, because I'm using Power Prosperity, I have to go into Welcome, as, because I don't want to risk a Droll, Valor, and Perm. Ash scenario, right? There's a lot more things that can screw me if I go into Ariana than if I go into a welcome, right? Welcome, the Ash. Okay, that's fine. I'll trade one for one. Again, Ash is not a problem, right? But if I go into welcome, that gives me four interruptions on my opponent's turn. Guaranteed. They drill me. Cool. Nice waste of drill, bro. If they, if they have Imperm or Valor, um, they can't Imperm, they, they can't Valor on their own turn. Um, imperm they can only do on their turn if they have no other cards in hand, right? So in this case, so for those of you who need you know need to learn stuff like this, right? You have you should add welcome here so just in case they have droll. So yeah, I go ahead and I add welcome. Yeah, so set four pass. So yeah, I'm stuck with so obviously if they didn't have one of those hand traps, um oh it's a vanquish soul. I remember this, I remember this uh this game. Yeah, so obviously, if they didn't have any of those hand traps, all right, Ariana, the the end board with Ariana set for it is much stronger than this than this board. But you kind of have to assume they have at least one hand trap. And if I'm gonna assume they have a hand trap, I'd rather assume like I'd rather only have to deal with Ash rather than like Ash and other things or other things, right? Anyway, so they're gonna reveal Ash. So I already know my welcome is gonna not resolve. They're going to special summon Rosin, and I'm going to negate that. So Rosin is the main card that Vanquish Soul wants to get out and use because this card is your is your, is your your main searcher. So Vanquish Soul needs a lot of cards in hand, right, um, in order for them to do, to do stuff with. So Rosin is the main searcher that gets those cards in hands. So I'm just going to negate this and destroy it. So not only do, by destroying it, not only do I stop them from getting the search, but also they don't they no longer have a body that they can use to bounce to summon another Vanquish Soul. So the Vanquish Soul, the way they work is the Vanquish Soul monsters in their hand bounce the monsters on the field back to the hand and then summon themselves. So if they don't have a monster on the field, they can't do the bounce, right? And since this is spell speed three, they can't respond with unless like red reboot, right? End phase. I'm gonna welcome knowing full well there's an ash. Why? Because on a, on a subsequent turn, when they summon a monster, I'm going to Torrential, and Welcome comes back. See how that works? Also, by negate by uh, Ashing here, they lose a fire monster in their hand. So what does this card say? If this this card... Uh, these car, Some of these cards have reveal cards, right? Uh, this says reveal one monster in hand. If this is their only monster in hand, then they can't use it anymore. Uh, this says reveal a fire monster. It can't be destroyed by card effects. If they don't have a fire monster revealed, then... Right? So, Vanquish Soul needs monsters in their hand. So... By, I know they have Ash. By forcing their Ash out here, I'm forcing them to lose a resource. This is a resource they need for their engine. Like, Ash is actually an engine card for Vanquish Soul, right? All right, so I'm okay getting negated here. That's fine. So top deck, uh, Shandraglier. Oh, perfect. So let's go ahead and uh, roll back into Big Welcome. Because I have a, a regular Welcome, right? So they're going to normal summon Rosin and use this effect. I'm going to Torrential here. Why? Because um, th they're using their normal summon, right? They don't have other... They don't have more than one normal summon. Uh, by destroying Rosin, they're still going to get their search, yes, but they will no longer have a body on the field that they can tag out with, right? And by using Torrential, I can return Shandraglier and Welcome, so I, I regain resources, and I can also go into a big Welcome play uh, Lady, right? So what they end up doing here in response is they're going to chain Vanquish Soul Caesar Valius to tag in. So they're going to tag out Rosin and they're going to tag in Caesar. But then Caesar's just going to get popped. So this is their main boss monster. They're just so they just lose this guy. So they prefer to keep the Rosin in hand so they can they have follow up plays on the subsequent turns. 
which is, I guess is kind of smart, but they still lose resources, right? They, they need cards in their hand for Vanquish Soul to do stuff. So they're going to summon this guy, uh, which says uh, you can special summon this as long as you don't have a monster in the main, main monster zone. So I'm going to welcome Chain Trainer Leader. I'm going to set welcome uh, right here in the middle column. Uh, why the middle column? Isn't this an imperm column? Well, because this card says uh, if they reveal Earth and Fire, destroy all spell traps in this card's column. So if they summon this here and try to use this effect to pop both these cards, they they lose a card too, right? If they if they do it here, uh, I can chain uh, Karma Cannon, right? And then they still lose their face down card. So, and if they do it here, uh, I can just chain Big Welcome to the, that effect if necessary, right? So they're gonna go ahead and special summon this, and then they're gonna make the Rock. The Rock is the car is the their main extra deck monster, which gets them a lets them recycle a card, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Big Welcome. They're gonna chain the Rock. And Rock is going to return Caesar, but Caesar's already used his effect this turn, which means they can't use it anymore, right? So I'm going to get Lady out, and then I'm going to summon Lady on end phase. So this Vanquish Soul card, so all of the Vanquish Soul mo monsters uh, ha are main, fa main phase effects, right? So this card says, in the main phase, quick effect. Activate one of these, special summon a thing, or add a thing from Graveyard. And then all their their monsters in hand, they have a Raza in hand, they have a, a Kaiser, like their hand is known, right? All these are main phase, right? So during the end phase, I'm going to Karma Cannon, Chain Lady. They can't Imperm, if this is Imperm, they can't use it, right? Because Lady's untargetable. Uh, this is going to get me a search, and it's going to fl uh, flip Lady and, and send this to the Graveyard. So then they have no main phase follow-up plays, right? But I set uh, Punishment, which is pretty good against... Um, uh, Vanquish Soul because if they if they activate their hand effect, you chain punishment to target their target. They have to they're either forced to chain another card, or they lose their target and they can't summon right. So punishment is is, is pretty good. But again, you have to wait for them to use their effect. You you don't want to use punishment first because then they can just tag out right. So yeah, so goodbye rock, and then I'm gonna roll back into uh, big welcome to get my lovely out. Bounce this lovely effect to pop a card in hand. Uh, and they lose Caesar right. Ooh, yeah, this is this is this is a, a and then I top deck Solemn Strike, which is amazing. Lovely's gonna reset Karma Cannon because Karma Cannon is amazing against uh Karma Cannon base gets rid of their link one also. Uh this card says uh uh if they reveal an earth monster, this card's unaffected by opponents activated card effects. Uh however Karma Cannon can out it, right? So if they use that, I Karma Cannon and then this guy's outed. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Summon lady. Uh welcome, chain lady. So set a big welcome, Ariana effect, search uh, a field spell. Yeah, this game is so unbelievably over. It's like I have total control of this board of this game state right here. Yeah, stopping Rosin is very important. Like not letting them get free searches, like negating it, destroying it is very very important. I'm gonna set Psalm Strike and add the field spell right. So they have uh, one Rosin in the graveyard. They're going to normal summon their Rosin, activate its effect to search, and I'm going to say no. So that means they not only did they not get a search, I'm going to kill this body, and if they have another uh, Vanquish Soul card in hand, they can't tag out because this is spell speed 3, right? So yeah, get fucked. And they're going to scoop because they know they're done. It's like without resources in hand, Vanquish Soul is, is like toast. They're, they're so much weaker if they don't have like all their, all their pieces in hand. Um, and and yeah, and I still have a, a big welcome that I can use to pop one of their set cards, bounce Ariana, pop their card in hand. Yeah, usually against uh, Vanquish Soul, you want to pop cards in hand because uh, their hand is their primary, like, their hand is a, is essentially their field, right, um, for Vanquish Soul. Um, so, yeah. yeah, this is a to a to an utter shellacking. All right, continuing on, we have duel number 11. Um, one thing I'll note, I'll, I'll, I'll guess I'll miss, start making some notes. So, uh, the one thing I noticed is that in my latest version of the deck, uh, I definitely have a higher percent win rate against Snake Eyes uh, than probably the previous iteration of this deck. Oh, sorry. Um, and then I would say that my worst matchup currently is going second against Super Heavy Samurai because I cut Sphere Mode, which, which was my biggest out to Super Heavy Samurai. Um, yeah, I've been losing a lot against them. Uh, so I added additional Drake Utopian Aura, and I'm thinking of adding uh, two Sphere Mode 
back into my deck with evenly matched. Uh, obviously, that'll make my going first going a little be a little weaker, but um, I, th I feel like. And so here's the thing: I don't see super heavy samurai in ranked anymore, like or like almost ever. It's almost all snake eyes and branded for me, like and like you know the, the off decks. But in duelist cup stage two, I've been seeing a lot of super heavy samurai. And yeah, going second against that deck without a screen mode like kind of sucks. It's like so they basically have to draw Psalm Striker or Drake Utopian, right? Um, in that case. Anyway, uh, so I do go first, and this dude shotguns Maxi, which is great because I'm not planning to special summon. I activate Lord, I mill transaction roll back, uh, because having that as a potential second Daruma Karma Ken is amazing. Uh, let's go into Prosperity here. Yeah, I, I definitely take Trap Trick here. Trap Trick is just the most versatile of, of these traps. Like, I yeah, I reveal Ariana, but if they have Imperm, uh, they can stop it, or Ash, they can stop it. Uh, Torrential can be searched off Trap Trick, uh, and Big Wealth can be searched off Trap Trick. So yeah, this is like, this is just such a solid going, going, uh, going first board, right? So there's a Prosperity. Uh, looks like they are also a, some kind of labyrinth deck. Uh, they're still playing Skilder. That's that's cool. Oh, uh, that, another thing. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I got weaker. Uh, my my deck got weaker against Super Heavy Samurai because I no longer run Skill Drain. Right. Um, Skill Drain cannot be negated by uh, um, Theron King Regulus. So just yeah, uh, and Skill Drain is just like really good against Super Heavy Samurai. Going first or second, right? So they took uh, they took uh, Lady right. Uh, which is good because I have a Psalm Strike, right? So I'm going to Trap Trick here. They're going to Lady, and I'm going to Psalm Strike. Uh, so that will put Lady in the dumpster. Goodbye. Uh, so that's going to go ahead and bring out a big welcome. Uh, Lord comes out, sets an Ice Dragon's Prison because it's cracked against uh, Labyrinth. Uh, I'm going to big welcome here into Lovely. Lovely Bounce Lord. Uh, lovely Effect to Pop. I, I rng against this. This is an Imperm. That's fine. Uh, Imperm's a, a bad card, by the way. Um, yeah, so... Already have a severe advantage in the in the mirror match. That's, that's the thing. Like that's why I said earlier in the video, who in the mirror match going first is is cracked, right? For most mirror matches, assuming you know no 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 bri player bricks, right? On average, if you go first, you're probably gonna win the mirror match. And this is like one of those situations where it's like I just completely cut this guy, right? Uh, lovely to reset trap trick because it's cracked. Uh, to kill this droll, lol. Imagine playing droll. Uh, Ice Dragons into Lady. Uh, the reason I want to do this is because I, this Ice Dragon goes away because it was set by Lord. Um, I want Ice Dragons in, in the graveyard for transaction rollback. Also, if I ever drew him a Karma Cannon, uh, this Lady, it's currently, its effect is currently negated. Uh, when it flips back up, will be not negated. So this is a negated Lady, but uh, if I have to Karma Cannon, it will not be negated. So I'm going to go ahead and Lord. They're going to Heavy Storm Duster. Uh, and then I'm just gonna chain Lady because it's a, it's a it's this, and I'm gonna chain Karma Cannon to flip Lady. So <laughs> yeah, they're just gonna scoop. Yeah, this game this game is like Giga Ogre. Like, um, yeah, I, I had I had a second Karma Cannon. Like, uh, yeah, I I just don't. And they have like no cards in hand, right? So I don't see how the hell they can possibly do anything at this point. Yeah. So that was uh, duel number tw eleven, eleven versus eleven. Uh, duel number twelve. Uh, let's see. Oh, I should actually practice my Korean since this uh this opponent of mine is Korean. All right, uh, going second hand, not great. So this dude's name is uh uh Nuke uh Nurun uh Main Nunu Main Nunu Nunu Main Nunu Nunu Main Nunu Nunu Main or something. Yeah, I'm I'm. Practicing Korean. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I go second here against Phantom Knights. Uh, uh, yeah, the Phantom, apparently people, someone, be, this guy be playing Phantom Knights in current year. Pretty astounding. Okay. Okay. Not sure what the end board on Phantom Knights is anymore. I mean, DP is still legal, right? But uh, this dude is not going to end on DP. He does end on a... There's a fog blade. <sighs> Alright, so here's some. Here's what's going through my mind at this point. 
Uh, yeah, I have an Ariata, a, a Ku Clock, and a Trap Trick. Theoretically, I could, assuming they don't fog blade me, right? Ariana effect, search, uh, big welcome, for example. Uh, set trap trick. Ariana crashes, uh, battle phase. Cra Ariana crashes. Uh, so Ku Clock allows me to use trap trick on this turn. In so in battle phase. Uh, when I declare the attack with Ariana, I could uh, trap trick into evenly matched, right? And then evenly match. Uh, Ariana dies, and I evenly match. Uh, that, but of course, Fogblade can stop all that. Uh, I don't expect this to be able to, to actually work. But I do draw Karmakan, which is a great card. I'm use Lord. Ariana effect uh, to search. Gets Fogbladed. That's fine. So I can't attack, and she's negated. That's f all fine. So I'm going to set two cards, and then I'm going to uh, summon Lady. And then I'm going to Ku Clock. Uh, trap trick into uh, into uh, trap trick chain lady. So I'm gonna set ice dragons because uh, they're they're mostly warrior engine. So this dude has a a, fe a, a torn scales and rusty bardage is also a warrior. So theoretically, I can kill both. I can take out uh, rusty bardage and uh, torn scales using ice dragons prison. And then they they've they lost significantly like lots of resources right off this. Anyway, uh, so trap trick goes into big welcome, and then I'm gonna build welcome here. They're going to max C. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Uh, Lovely comes out. Bounces Ariana. Uh, Lovely effect. I'm going to pop a card in hand. Uh, called by. That's uh, against me. Not that great. That's fine. Uh, kill this. Yeah, so now I have to uh, Torn Knights, Torn Scales in the graveyard, right, where I, where I want it. Uh, and now I can reset Trap Trick, because Trap Trick is insane and can go into Torrential if I want, or Punishment, right? So they're going to use this to, to banish, uh, to summon this. Okay. So I'm going to big welcome here. Bounce uh, Bardish, actually. Uh, Lovely's going to get a pop. I'm going to pop Torn Scales. And Torn Scale gets banished here. So, uh, yeah, I actually, I actually ended up accomplishing the same thing that Ice Dragons would have. But now, if they try to do it Torn Scales again, uh, I have Ice Dragons as follow-up, right? And I have Karma Can and I have Trap Trick. Uh, so, yeah, they're just going to scoop because I guess they don't have the resources they wanted. Uh, I don't know if Torn Scales is, is limited to one in Master Duel. If it is, then their engine is like... So fucking dead, right? By the way, I'm so bad at pronouncing this this character. The 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 uh, the R. So, uh, nu nuruk nuruk nukun nukun main. I, I I don't know. Uh, if I have any Korean viewers, uh, please explain to me how to pronounce that that lower character because it, it's it sucks. Anyway, uh, all right, duel number three. Or is this duel number three? Yep. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, cool. Uh, so I am going second. Uh, they're going to... Uh, so again, so this is a Labyrinth Mirror matchup. This is playing Black Backjack. This card is so fucking cringe. It's so bad. Uh, they're going to big welcome. Okay. End phase. Cool. Nice board you got there. It'd be a shame if I had evenly matched. <laughs> if I have evenly matched. There's an Imperm. Okay. There's the Ariana. So this is so fucking funny. Yeah. Here's the lady. Nice. Bo so so they, basically they just, they, they for some reason built their board stronger. Like, I don't know why they would do this without me committing resources, right? Because let's say I have Imperm. I just Imperm the Ariana and then Ariana is negated, right? Unless they have Big Welcome. I guess they could, they have Big Welcome. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So I'm going to put Prosperity here for six. Gee, oh look, evenly matched. First card, <laughs> Lord, Lady, evenly matched. Yep, uh, I'll take one evenly matched, please. Battle phase. Uh, they're gonna big welcome in, uh, Chain Lady, bro. This is this card is also so fucking bad, dude. It's so bad, right? It's a one for one trade at best. It's so bad. It's just strictly worse than punishment. Anyway, so they're gonna summon Lovely Bounce Lady. And I'm like, and so they're basically trying to snipe my evenly match. That's their only hope here. The hilarious part is <laughs> they're gonna snipe my rollback. <laughs> yeah, they literally snipe my rollback, <laughs> which is the most hilarious shit ever, right? All right, uh, end of main or end of battle, uh, evenly goodbye. So, so they keep their lovely and they have a lady in hand. So they have a lovely lady with no bat, with no uh, 
back row. They already used Lady this turn, so they can't use it again. And I have a Psalm Strike, so as soon as this Lady tries to summon herself, I, I literally just Psalm Strike if I wanted to, right? Um, yeah, this is this game is completely ogre, like. And in fact, it's even more ogre because Ariana is gonna get my field spell, right? They don't have Ash, they don't have Imperm, and now actually, uh. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna shotgun big welcome here. Uh, it's like let's see if you have Ash. No Ash. They're gonna lady. <laughs> uh, goodbye. <laughs> oh man. So now because they use chain lady and then I change song strike, they can't chain big welcome to bounce their lovely, which means uh, big welcome will resolve. I bring out my lovely. I pop their lovely. Uh, Arena comes back. Uh, this lady's in the dumpster, and then lovely will pop the card in hand, and the game is completely over. It's it's so unbelievably over. Look at that. Bam. And now Lovely's just going to pop the hand card. And, it's, and so it's, yeah, it's, sorry, not, so Lovely's not going to pop the hand card. Lovely's going to pop every card in existence, right? Yeah. Oh, man, evenly matched. Yeah, yeah. I guess, like, if, you, if you're a Labyrinth player and you're main decking evenly matched as you should because it's great against Snake Eyes, uh, yeah, uh, evenly matched against in the Labyrinth Mirror is, like, fucking hilarious, right? As you, as you just saw. It's like, well, how do they stop it? They, they can't. Unless they know how to play through evenly match, which most Labyrinth players do not, like I do. So, all right, duel number four. Um, uh, <sighs> pretty good opening hand. Uh, going first. Set three, and then I, I set the Ku Clock. That way I can uh, big welcome if I wanted to. Super Heavy Samurai. There's a Scarecrow. So I'm just I'm kind of just chilling. Uh, yeah, I'm a little... I'm not afraid, but like I'm cognizant about the Super Heavy Samurai uh, Synchro 8, which has the ability to pop back row. So basically, um, as soon as they have the ability to make a Synchro 8, I'm just going to Torrential. There's a Torrential. Bam. So they use they they already use their normal summon, uh, and they already use their link one. So now they're significantly like low on on extenders, right? I mean they can still make stuff like like this, right? But it's a lot harder for them. So they're gonna make uh, this dude, uh, which is a synchro twelve, and it's pretty good. Uh, once per turn, when I activate a thing, they can draw cards. I'm just gonna psalm strike this uh, because also if they ever go into a crimson dragon in the future, like they can. So this is a 4,000k beater, right? And then they can Crimson Dragon into Calamity, for example, right? So I'm just going to negate that. End phase. Let's get regular welcome. Ariana effect. Uh, get big welcome. So this was a misplay. So I meant to search Torby, but I misclicked big welcome. So, you know, uh, when, the, when the little window popped up to say, hey, uh, um, add a card to hand, I meant to hit... Tor uh, the stove Torby, but I hit big welcome instead. Why Torby? If I if I add Torby to hand on their end phase, I can Torby on their end phase, discard Lovely, set a big welcome, and then on this turn, L big welcome is live and Lovely comes out anyway, right? So this is a misclick, but you're gonna see it's not gonna end up mattering because um yeah, uh, I'm just like gonna fuck them up. The Lord set big welcome. All right, I'm gonna do a thing. Uh, since this is their normal summon, uh, wait, oh, I remember what happens, yeah, so, I'm actually gonna big welcome into Ku Clock, not lovely, and the reason for that is because, uh, Ariana, well, first, Ariana's gonna get a draw, and a special summon, so, lovely's gonna hit the field anyway, but now, uh, so, lovely, uh, Ariana one, uh, was that? Uh, welcome two, Lord three. Lord is gonna search any card I want from the deck, so I'm gonna search a trap card, uh, and then Ku Clock four. So that means whatever I search off, off Lord can be activated immediately this turn, right? So I'm gonna put punishment, and since uh, yeah, Ariana gives me a draw here, uh, I'm gonna special lovely. So now I have three pops, right? I have punishment, Entis, and then lovely pop, and that's really good against uh, if they go into the link one, right? As they do here, so there's a motorbike. All right, so they're gonna activate this effect, which summons a monster with zone this points to. So 
I'm going to go ahead. They're going to discard Droll and try to revive that. I'm going to Punishment. Uh, target this. Send Entis. Uh, Entis 1. Uh, lovely 1. Entis 2. To popping uh, this this uh, back row. Uh, the reason for that is because just in case they have one of these in hand, uh, they have to scale it. And their scales are 4 and 8. And they can't bring out any of these monsters, right? So I think popping this is the best move here. Um... And lovely, obviously, pop pop in hand, and I snipe a Valor, which ends up not mattering. Uh, I would rather have popped something else, but it's fine. Either way, they're out of extenders. They use their normal summon. They use the Link One. Uh, they no longer have a scale, right? So yeah, they're just do completely done. So um, yeah, so that was that was me going first against Super Heavy Samurai. Yeah, so that was a misclick on the Torby, but again, it ended up not mattering. And yeah, sometimes you want a big welcome in a clock. Because if you have, especially if you have Ariana there, because you get your lovely out and you get a clock and you get a search off Lord, right? So this is why Lord is so good. It's like, oh, you don't have Lady to search a spell trap from deck. Lord can do it. So just fucking use Lord. I see Labyrinth players not playing Lord. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Play Lord. Uh, all right, duel number five. Um, I do not know how to read Japanese. Uh, Japanese is cringe anyway. Korean is based. Lol. Come at me. All right. Uh, going second here. Let's see. They are... Oh, extra. Is this another lab mirror? No, this is... Oh, ninja. Oh, I remember this fucking deck. All right. This game... I'm going to I'm gonna be honest with... Right away. This game is so fucking sloppy for me. Okay, I, I make so many mistakes in this game. I, I almost, I, I literally almost threw the game. And let me t explain to you why I, I make, I made so many, I make so many, you're going to see so many mistakes. So number one, uh, I was playing this super late last night. I think it was like three, four in the morning, right? Number two, I don't fucking know what ninja decks do. I have to stop and read every card. Because of that, I drain my timer. Um, uh, so, you know, you have a timer, you have 300 seconds or whatever. I literally drain my timer reading all these ninja cards because I have no fucking clue what they do, right? And I literally, at one point, have to turn off chains because my, the timer hits one or two, like zero seconds, right? I'm literally in the last second before the timer, like, loses the game for me. So because of that, I'm, like, thinking, I'm, like, rushing, trying to make decisions here. So, and I almost lose the game as a result of it off timer. So, yeah, you're going to see some very, very sloppy gameplay um, in this game. Uh, I apologize, but it is kind of a, a shit show slash clown fiesta. So maybe enjoy that. They're going to make this ninja here, which can attack stuff directly, apparently. And then uh, when I use a card effect, they can special a ninja from uh, deck or whatever. Anyway, Ariana's is going to search. Uh, big welcome. Uh, set two. Uh, lady. All right. Uh, this thing can summon a thing, and then it's a monster effect or something. Oh, no. It's, it's a card that tar that pre uh, prevents targeting. Uh, you can special summon. If you do that, tar return target hard. Uh... Oh no, this one is in the graveyard. Yeah, so it's in the graveyard. There's a monster negate. So I, I, I didn't really pay. Or it's a negate that uh, it's a card that target that negates like tar targets or something. Anyway, yeah. So didn't really realize what that did. Uh, and then they're gonna make this. I'm gonna solemn strike that. Goodbye. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna attach this. I don't really know what these equip spells do. Uh, so you banish a ninja card, a target card on the field, to destroy it. So. Uh, I'm just going to uh, big welcome here to dodge this. So they're going to maxi. That's fine. And this card has an ability that says uh, target two face up monster on the field, change the face down. Okay. Um, so Ariana comes back, dodges that. Then he's going to flip lovely face down. Lovely can well, cannot change battle positions, which is annoying. Uh, I'm still going to get a lovely pop, and I'm going to pop this dude, right? So they're going to attack me directly, uh, which is fine, because they don't have lethal. So I'm going to Trap Trick uh, Chain Lady into Welcome. So I set I set Punishment. This is a mistake, because I didn't know about uh, this. Yeah, this card has a graveyard effect. When your opponent activates a card effect uh, that targets a thing, while well, this card is in your graveyard, special summon it, and then if you do, return the card to the hand. So yeah, this, but this is a mistake. I should not have gotten Punishment. I probably should have gotten, uh, let's see... Uh, one, two. Not ice dragons, cause uh, they don't have yeah. You know, all their all their shit is like uh different things. Uh, maybe torrential. No, not torrential. I don't know. Not punishment is is the point, right? Uh, 
The Lord's going to summon. I'm going to set a big welcome here. So they bounce the fusion monster. So this is a mistake. I forgot that this is a monster negate. Uh, very sloppy gameplay. I should have swung into this. Uh, and then on main two, uh, uh, did Ariana. This is so sloppy. This is so fucking sloppy. Yeah, it's like I was I was tired and not not understanding what this what this deck was supposed to do. They're gonna book a moon lord. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, put lord back into my hand and put get lady out. So I have two monsters that can be targeted. I'm pretty sure most of their effects target right. Uh, welcome into uh, stove. Uh, so I was planning on doing a chaos angel play, but then I remembered, oh, if I try to banish this card, uh, they have that fucking this guy or uh, the the fire one that can negate or can, that can dodge this. So, but maybe I should have done it anyway, just because this is like their their high level. I don't know. So, anyways, a uh, stove uh, put out the field spell. Yeah, again, very sloppy gameplay for me. Uh, if you're a ninja player. In the comments, please tell me what the choke point of this deck is, or like what I should be going after negating, because it's not clear to me like what it, what it's supposed to be. Like, there, there's just so much random bullshit going on. There's like attacking directly. There's some stuff that that flips, some stuff that spit. It's like, again, I, I almost never face ninjas, right? Yeah. So I attempt to I use big welcome to attempt to bounce this, uh, and then they're gonna negate it and bounce it back to their hand anyway. So like either way, they they bounce this. So they have a, a brick in their hand because that's a high level monster. The normal summon. I have no idea. Yeah, this search is a thing. Uh, okay. Search, search is an equip spell. So they're going to make this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... They're going to attach Ariana, which I guess might give them a pop. So I'm just going to say, uh, nah, uh, Karma Cannon. Uh, they're going to chain this dude. Okay. So Ariana's going to dodge this. Uh, so yeah, this is a mis yeah. I, I made so many mistakes because this was gonna happen uh, very soon. I'm gonna set big welcome. Uh, they're gonna make this guy, and they're, they're gonna use this to uh, banish the field spell, and then they're gonna ride Geki my board, which is fucking devastating. That was so devastating. Like, uh, yeah, maybe I should have just let the the pop go through. Um, I, I'm still gonna recover from this, but yeah, this is this this is a, a, a shit show of a game. Uh, they have no extra deck anymore, by the way. So they're gonna add this ninja thing. Okay, I'll take two. I'll take one K. That's fine. They're under prosperity, right? All right. So I have a. So I'm gonna big welcome here into Lady, and Lady's gonna. Uh, that's gonna return lovely and welcome, and I'm gonna uh, regenerate a bunch of resources. Uh, they're gonna do something to uh, return this equip spell. And then they're going to put this down, okay? Okay. They're going to attach the to Torby. And I'm going to Karma Cannon this Chain Lady. Uh, put Ice Dragons here. Even though... Uh, yeah, so actually, these two are warriors. So theoretically, I noticed uh, I could use one to banish the other, right? Uh, in the In the future. I didn't really have much better choice here, so I want Ice Dragons. So this is going to revive a thing. Okay. Summon. Uh, I'm going to welcome here into Ariana. Ariana effect to get Clock. So I could ice, I could theoretically use Ice Dragons with Ku Clock now, but... Uh, they're going to uh, pop Ice Dragons. I'm going to uh, negate that. Well, no, he, he tries to banish. Uh, I'm going to negate and destroy this. So now they're going to attempt to pop. Uh, they pop the ice dragons. Uh, this flips this down. And then he's going to normal summon Nibiru. Or tribute summon Nibiru and kill my lovely. So this looks pretty dire. Uh, honest, uh, honestly. But where there's a will, there's a way. And I'm going to use... I'm going to pull off... I'm going to use a card that uh, is going to save my ass completely. So I flip summon this. Uh, because it's flip summon, he's going to pop this, right? So I normal summon clock. I go into... That's right. Muckraker from the underworld, baby. Let's go. Muckraker. Uh, target lovely. Uh, pop this. Or summon this. Uh, big welcome on Nibiru. I can't target their ninjas because he has the fucking fire dude that can negate. But he can't negate this, right? 
So here's the thing. Um, Nibiru says, uh, if you put normal summer special on the five times. So I normal clock, I made this, and then I uh, put lovely, right? Uh, so, lo yeah, so I'm going to summon four times, right? So, lovely one to pop, lovely uh, uh, stove Torby two to return, uh, and then welcome three to return. Yeah, so I am at uh, four summons, so I will not... So, I could make Chaos Angel, or or maybe, like, uh, uh, let's see what I can make here. Maybe I can make, uh, let's see, I could do a Link 3 play, maybe? Do I have a Link 3 play? Uh, do I have any darks? Dark the Dark Charmer. I mean, the point is, I was not planning to summon anyway because I'm at four summons and they have Nibiru in hand, right? Nibiru is a brick against me, normally. So battle, take this guy out. So their extra deck is gone, by the way. Um, so now I have another big welcome in my in my graveyard that I can use to bounce and get another pop. So I'm pretty sure at this point I have total control of the board state. Um, I'm gonna reset Karma Cannon, and yeah, now that Lovely's back. Even though the field spell is gone and my wel big welcomes are all gone, right? Uh, two of my big welcomes are banished and one's in the graveyard. So, yeah, this Muckraker saved my fucking ass like you wouldn't believe, right? Uh, so they're going to attempt to pop a card. Uh, I end up allowing that. Why do I allow that? Uh, they're, they're going to attempt to crash this guy. And I think the reason they do is because they wanted to send that equip spell to the graveyard. Uh, this card sends you can target and banish Ninja Monster, add to hand a special summon it. So they so yeah, they would have gotten a special summon it. Um but now they're not going to. So they have two sets and I and a Nibiru in hand. And I have I, yeah, I, I basically have lethal at this point. Game's over. Um Yeah, so that was a sloppy ass game. I made a ton of mistakes because again, I don't know what the fuck this deck's supposed to do. I have a better idea now. Uh and, but yeah, I, I basically won because of, of Muckraker. So, yeah, y'all don't y'all aren't used to seeing Muckraker like I I, I put it in my actually before, but like yeah, sometimes you gotta get lovely from the graveyard and you don't have access to big welcome or field spell, so you gotta use Muckraker, right? Anyway, uh, duel number six. Yeah, what a what an exhausting game that was. I'm trying to remember if I was tired for this game too. I forget. I go second. <sighs> Opening evenly going second is always great. Oh, yeah. This is a... A fucking invoked... Cashed hero deck? Like, what? Uh, so there's the Purgatrio. And then they... Yeah, they just make... Why don't they make Mechaba? Do they, can, do they not have Artemis? Like, what the fuck? They just this motherfucker just goes purgatorial pass going first like what like I've never seen this in my life like this dude is a dual state dualist cup stage two how did he make why can't you just make Mechaba right you like 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 uh, like fucking Alistair is a one card Mechaba because of uh you know Artemis right but all right he goes purgatorial sure so no evenly I'm just gonna set four pass so now he's gonna use Alistair's effect. To make Purgatrio gain a thousand attack. I'm just like, what? Is this dude a fucking bot? Like, like this dude is, is like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Where, why did you make him Mechaba, dude? Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and prime a cannon and set love or get Lady out. But yeah, Lady, chain, uh, big welcome chain Lady, get lovely. I'm gonna go ahead and pop uh, a ghost spell. Wait, they didn't ghost spell my big welcome? Like, what? I don't get it. Like, what? This guy is like a, a troll, right? He's he's actually griefing. What? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I just big welcome <laughs> against a player that had Ash and fucking Ghost Bell, and they didn't use Ghost Bell. I pop it with Lovely, and then I the subsequent I foolish barrel goods. He, him knowing I have welcome, by the way. He knows for a fact I have welcome because he literally just saw me set it. And instead of using Ash on my welcome, he ashes my text notes. Foolish burial goods. <laughs> yeah. I know this duel was a joke. Like, why do I bother recording this duel? Because it's in Duelist Cup Stage 2. This guy got to Stage 2 playing 
I guess invoke cash tier. I don't know. Like it's not even an absurd concept because like invoke an invoked engine can like you know cash tier doesn't necessarily have the normal summon. An invoked engine literally is just like your normal summon into a, a, a omni negate, right? So you can stop stuff like Nibiru, right? So yeah, this dude is a muppet. I don't know. I don't know how else. Damn, this is a, a an insane game. <laughs> yeah. So. Duel number 17. I want to say this is against the Snake Eye because uh, they have the Snake Eye uh, avatar, right? I go first. Oh, yep. This is Snake Eyes. Yeah. Uh, all right. So this is not a great hand for going first, right? Um, Lovely is obviously a brick. Evenly going first does nothing, right? So they're going to um, they're gonna shotgun maxi. Great. Thanks for throwing a card out. Uh, I'm going to Lord set Trap Trick. All right, so I'm going to play against a Snake Eye board with only a Trap Trick. Yes. Like, people think, oh, you know, uh, Tier 0 Snake Eyes is best deck. Oh, it's it's like it's like Tier, full power Tier. No. I'm, I, I'm going to play through a Snake Eye combo with one Trap Trick. Uh, just listen, to, listen to the words I just said, right? No, like you can't play. You can't play through a fucking tier combo, like a full power tier combo with one trap trick. It's, it's not happening. So wanted. They should have done that in draw phase. Whatever. Uh, unicorn, birth, Diabella star, original sinful. Draw a card. There's the ash, ash effect. Poplar. They have yet to normal summon, by the way. It fucking blows my mind that, like, Dex can get away with comboing like this without a single normal summon. It's like, that should be illegal. Like, actually illegal. Alright. So, uh... Yeah, they use Divine Temple. The reason I'm Trap Tricking right here is because I want to summon Love... Uh, so, by using Trap Trick, I can summon uh, both Lovely and Lord, if I want to. Uh, by summoning... Uh, and I want to do it before they put uh, Temple to Snake Eyes because if uh, if I summon after Temple to Snake Eyes on the f is on the board, then they get to summon whatever is in their back row, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna t use my summons now. So I'm gonna set Karma Cannon, which is the best card against Snake Eyes. Period. Right. Uh, Sealed Spell One, Lord Two. I'm gonna grab a big welcome, and I'm gonna get a, a lovely. Uh, they're gonna use Unicorn. Doesn't matter. They banish Garuro, which is hilarious. Uh, they're gonna use uh, temple, divine temple. They're gonna summon a thing. They're gonna revive a thing. That's gonna put a th another thing back. Yep. They're gonna make. They're gonna uh, do flamberge. And now I'm gonna karma cannon. So they've used oak. They've used ash, and they've used poplar, and they've used diabella star. Even though they have not normal summoned, which is still insane to me. Uh, yeah, so this just looks like a good point to... Uh, yeah, especially because I don't want Flambridge putting Lovely in my back row. So they're going to end. That's all they got. They they got no more extenders. They can't link summon. Uh, thanks some uh, Karma Cannon. So flip summon. Uh, reset Karma Cannon. Uh, there's a Veiler, as expected. Uh, I'm going to big welcome uh, to dodge uh, Veiler because I want Karma Cannon on the board because it's cracked, right? So yeah, I'll, I'm going to pop Temple. And then uh, I'm going to set Karma Cannon, uh, around effect to get the big welcome battle, take out f this, take out that, uh, set big welcome, and I have Karma Cannon and big welcome. And you know how I played through an entire uh, Snake Eyes combo with a single Karma Cannon? Well, now I have Karma Cannon plus big welcome, plus a lovely, plus a, a bat, like, yeah, it's, <laughs> game is ogre, it's so ogre. I can't wait till I get Arias the butler, because then I'll be able to butler Karma Cannon on their turn with me going second. Like, I can't wait for the butler, right? So there's the Ash. Okay. Poplar. Yep. Uh, so they're going to resummon Unicorn. They're going to attempt to put Lord in my back row. I'm going to be like, uh, no thanks. Uh, chain, yeah, big welcome chain uh, lady. They're going to chain Droplet to negate. Yeah, so they sent Flamberge and they sent Poplar. Uh, so they're going to negate my my thingies here. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to bounce Lord. And uh, the f field spell is going to pop Ash. Uh, Unicorn 1. Uh, Poplar 2. Flamberge 3. 
lovely four all around a five just a chain block lovely uh so i pop unicorn here just just i just want fewer bodies right and they're gonna banish chaos angel that's fine so they're gonna oak is gonna summon a thing have they normal summon they have okay uh and then they're gonna summon out another ash from the deck and then they're gonna make uh promethean princess I'm going to go ahead and uh, say no to that. Yeah, goodbye, pr Princess. I was hoping they would go IP first. I was, I was waiting for the IP and then Promethean, but they went straight Promethean, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, Karma Cannon just gets rid of that. This game is so fucking over. Uh, Lord, lovely reset Karma Cannon. Yep. Oh, no, no Valor this time? Feels bad, man. Yeah. Act, uh, yeah. So, Lord is revealed. Yeah, again, car I'm Karma Cannon against Snake. Like, I'm telling you, all you need is Karma Cannon. It's so fucking good. It's so good. There's a Diabella Star. Uh, I'm going to big welcome here. Chain Lady. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop, uh, add Ku Clock, set Ice Dragons. So, Ku Clock will go back to, I'm going to, uh, Field Spell will pop a uh, Birth so they don't have any cash tier extenders. And then Lovely's going to pop the Diabella Star in hand. So they, they literally have no follow-up, right? Well, you would think they have no follow-up. So they're going to use uh, this to draw a card. And of course, the card they draw is fucking Poplar. Dude, how insane is this deck? That they just, like, draw Poplar and then they can, like, summon it. It's... And by the way, this Poplar? Just, just watch what happens. This is insane. I'm going to go ahead and Ku Clock. They're going to call by on Ku Clock. That's fine. I still have a Karma Cannon, so... Yeah, they, 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 they get original sinful spoils, which still needs to be banned, by the way. And now look what's going to happen. They're going to they're gonna send the fucking Flamberge, right? That's going to summon this. Flamberge is going to summon two more cards. And then this is going to summon a fifth card. So literally, one card generated four bodies. Like, this thing guy is so fucking stupid. And it's, it's because of this card. This card right here is a fucking problem. Please ban this card. Poplar is fine if this card doesn't exist. I'm telling you. Konami. TCG Konami, Master of Konami, ban original sinful spoils. I know it's a UR, but it's a one of, like, please, this card is fucking stupid. Like, the, the graveyard effect is, is, is dumb, right? The fact that it can be recycled off of this is dumb. It's just, it's just a dumb card. Anyway, uh, yeah, they have five monsters on the field. Uh, I'm gonna, this is a great time to Karma Cannon because they literally cannot Link Summon. And I'm gonna summon Lord. Lord's gonna set, uh, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> nice board, bro. <laughs> Reset Karma Cannon, because again, Karma Cannon is so cracked. Three turns of full Snake Eyes combo. I stopped, right? Insane. Attack. Attack. They're going to put this back. I don't give a fuck. Attack. They must all die. Welcome chain punishment. Attack. I'm not going to bother with Lovely Effect because I don't want to pop this Flamberge. Yeah, send rollback. Yeah, look, dude, look at this board, right? Like, look at this board, right? And I if they have another one card starter, I'm going to be, I'm going to fucking lose it. Yeah, no more original sinful spoils for you. Thank you. Yeah. Tell original. All right, so I won. Obviously, like, that took a long time. Oh, yeah, Snake Eyes tier zero deck, blah, blah, blah. But to be fair, I opened with just a trap trick, right? I literally stopped their full combo with just a trap trick and the karma cannon, and then I karma cannon again, and I karma cannon again, and then yeah, every turn one karma cannon can just end their existence, right? <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, uh, please ban original sinful spoils. This card is, is so dumb. It's so dumb. Uh, duel number seventeen. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I remember this game. I go second against a super heavy samurai deck. All right, this is a very interesting hand. Because look what I have. I have two clock, Torby, rollback, right? Which is an insanely cracked going second start, as you'll soon see, right? Because with with these cards, these two cards, I can use literally big welcome on my opponent's turn and get a lovely. 
pop, right? With transaction rollback, I can literally do that through Ash, right? So let's let's see this. So they're gonna go ahead and do this. So they're gonna make uh, start a Excel start a Synchro Dragon uh, to revive a thing. I'm gonna, yeah, and then they're gonna chain some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna chain Ku Clock, chain Stove, send Rollback, uh, set a big welcome. Ku Clock to summon a uh, big welcome to. Uh, they're gonna ash that. That's fine. Uh, and then we're gonna roll back into big welcome. So Lovely comes out, this comes out, and then Lovely's going to pop, Excel, start a Synchro, uh, and then that's a pop. Uh, they're going to Pendulum Summon. So they can still make a Synchro 10, so I stopped the Barone temporarily. They're just going to make a Barone here. But that's fine, because like it's a lot easier to deal with this Barone, right? Because it's just a Barone. They pop Lovely, which is fine, doesn't matter. So I'm going to clue clock again, uh, chain Torby. So I want to bait this Brona gate, right? So I'm going to send big welcome. I'm going to set a big welcome from deck. Uh, clue clock's going to come back. They're going to Brona gate the clue clock. They really should Brona gate the big welcome because I, I can now just use it on their turn, right? So that's all fine and dandy. So now Brona does not have any gate, right? So now I'm going to uh, big welcome into uh, love lady, lady summon, or, or store, uh, still come back, lady summon. Uh, Barone does not have a negate, and I don't want Barone to use their effect to revive, like, like to tag out, right? So I'm going to go ahead and Punishment onto this guy. Uh, chain Lady, I'm going to go ahead and set a regular Welcome from deck. Pop that. Entis 1 on Barone. Uh, and now I have a Karma Cannon, right? So they're going to revive some stuff. Revive. Summon. So they're going to... Put four monsters on the board, including some tuners, and I'm going to go ahead and Karma Cannon here because that's going to get rid of this, and they literally can't do anything anymore, right? Because they'll have four face downs, and like, yeah, there's no way they can Synchro or Link at this point. Yeah, so this game is like Giga Ogre, by the way. It's Giga Ogre. Ooh, top deck transaction rollback. You love to fucking see it. What a great top deck. Man, I love this card. It's so good. It's so fucking good. So I'm going to go ahead and roll back, uh, set the field spell. And then they're gonna just scoop. They they are they know the game is over. Like activate field spell, uh, lady attack, welcome, tame lady. Uh, lo uh, uh, I guess because uh, lovely's in the graveyard, uh, Ariana can come out or lady can come out. Uh, pop pop a thing right. Like uh, from from the deck, I can set a a karma, a karma cannon, and then on the subsequent turns, karma cannon. Uh, I can basically, you know, stop their link one play if they if they have any more, uh, and then I can uh, use car uh, field spell to revive a uh, lady, right? And I have a big welcome in the graveyard to bounce a card and then trigger a pop off of uh, lovely. So yeah, this, yeah, that was an insane going uh, going second hand into super heavy samurai. Um, yeah, like see, this is why I want the RS Butler because again, I want to be able to prime mechanic and transfer tribute my opponent on their turn when I'm going second. So. Yeah, if I had a, a butler, uh, that that's that's what it'll enable me to do. No more do you have to rely on going any going second cards like uh, Utopian Aura or uh, you know Seer Mode. Like, I, I mean, evenly it's still good to have, but like you know, Arias can can fit can f uh, fill your needs, right? Anyway, uh, duel number that was eighteen, uh, nineteen. Pretty sure I play against a branded opponent at this point. It's either this guy or the next guy is a, is a branded. A branded, more like a brain dead. I go first this time. Uh, yeah, I go first uh, with evenly in hand, which is not great. So let's get a draw two here. So ha man, opening double eighty is so bad when we only have two in my deck. It's so bad. But uh, torrential and trap trick. This is essentially a karma cannon, right? It's pretty good going first. Not gonna lie. As you'll soon see. So they're going to King of the Swamp, search Polly, uh, Shiren to Mill, uh, Aluber to go branded fusion. So no, no branded opening, right? So they can fill up their board and I'll, I'll just torrential them, right? 
Imagine not having Brandon opening. Albion, banish the thing. Lubelion. So here comes the Mirror Jade. They, they sent Ash, which is pretty funny, right? There's the Mirror Jade, and I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, it's time for Trenchel. Goodbye. Bam. Uh, and then Mirror Jade's going to do a thing. It doesn't matter. Uh, Shiren's going to fuse. Uh, I'm just going to summon Lady here. Shiren fuses with Gartesia to make uh, the Grangriol, which is, point, is a worthless monster. Uh, Garura to draw. So one of their cards in hand is Polly, right? And then they're going to Fairytale Snow. So my assumption here is that they want to poly into Brandon Chimera uh, into a Garden Chimera because I'll let them pop my trap trick and it'll let them run over Lady. So I have to make sure they cannot uh, Garden Chimera uh, at least not with with like basically they need two in hand, two monsters in hand. They need poly and exactly two monsters in hand to make Garden Chimera. Uh, that so that, so I need to get rid of one of these bodies, right? So I'm gonna trap trick in and chain Lady. Lady's gonna set a uh, big welcome. If Garden Chimera pops big welcome, I can bounce Gar well, I can't bounce Garden Chimera because I can it can't be started by card effects is made by Polly. But uh, the point is uh, this is gonna go into punishments. So now as soon as they play Polly, I chain punishment, right? So there's Polly. So now if, if I'm gonna punishment onto the Grand Wheel, send Entis. If they do not have two monsters in hand, they cannot make Garden Chimera, and this might just fizzle or create a fusion monster that is just worthless and then the entis pops that fusion monster anyway so garden chimera is my biggest fear right now right but i have to stop the garden chimera potential uh so i'm gonna pop that and then i assume they surrender because it fizzles yeah so or they, it either fizzles or they have to make a suboptimal fusion that will just get popped by entis anyway so either way uh yeah they're toast yeah i love uh, man i love torrential tribute you saw what that card did right cleared four of their monsters Including Mirror Jade. And uh, yeah, Mirror Jade, right? He's my born end phase. I don't have. Uh, my lady can't be destroyed. So yeah, get wrecked. Uh, duel number 20. What is this one? Let's see. <sighs> Go second with a pretty interesting hand. Sublimation Knight. So apparently this guy is an Infernoble player, but for some reason I thought he was an Ignite like FTK player. Uh yeah, so they use their normal summon here, right? Uh so Isolde is gonna come out and they're going to add a warrior, which is just says this is just a normal summon. So at this point I decide I don't want Isolde to use his, his special summon from deck effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and Ku Clock. Chain uh, Stove Torby and Ariana. Chain Lady. The Lady comes out. Big Welcome comes out. And Ku Clock comes out. Out. And now I'm a Big Welcome here. Chain Lady. Uh, set uh, Welcome. Lovely comes out. Bounces Ku Clock. And then Lovely's going to pop. Uh, Lovely one. Uh, Stove two. And I'm going to go ahead and pop his old. So they use their normal summon. I'm pretty sure as an Infernal Noble player. This is. So if they're Ignite FTK, This is. Pretty sure their combo's over. If they're Infernoble player, I'm pretty sure their combo's over. Because they use their, their normal summon, and they did not search any card that can, that can special. And they don't have any equip spells in their graveyard. So, yeah, they're going to Sinful Spoils on the Lovely, which is kind of random, but okay. He's like, what is it, Sinful Spoils uh, Infernoble? Whatever. Welcome, Chain la Lady. This is a big welcome. Arian effect. They're going to imperm. I'm going to dodge that because I want my field spell. So goodbye. There's a field spell. Uh, set Ice Dragons. Ice Dragons is very good against Infernoble because they're all warriors, right? So Museum is going to add a, an arms. Uh, they're going to normal summon this. Uh, which lets them mill this guy, and this is an extender. Banish this card is special. So since I know that's an extender, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some plays. So I'm going to big welcome here, uh, chain lady. I'm going to set uh, punishment here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn Ariana, bounce uh, lady, and pop lovely. I want lovely uh, out of the back row now because, yeah, fuck, fuck that bullshit, right? Uh, and then I'm going to uh, Ariana 1. Uh, welcome to 
Uh, I get a draw. I set this guy, Solemn Strike. Summon Lady back. I'm going to Ice Dragons. Uh, this guy. So get rid of these two warriors. And then Field Spell 1 to return Lovely. And then I'm going to Ku Clock. So now Punishment is live. So I have Punishment, uh, which gives me three pops via Lovely. And I have Karma Cannon against three cards. I'm pretty sure I'm in a great fucking state right now. So they're going to Noble Arms on Lovely. Uh, use it to search a card. Uh, and then they pop that. And then they're going to... Uh, now they have an equip in the... Fr they can put out Immortal Phoenix gear. Uh, I'm going to chain this to set a uh, big welcome here. So now uh, Ku Clock comes back to the hand. Uh, I'm going to punishment onto this guy. Uh, send Bucephalus and then lovely one to pop a card in hand. Bucephalus two to send Garura and then Garura gets a, a, a draw. So they'll be left with one card in hand uh, and no, no graveyard effects as far as I know. And then I, I still have a Karma Cannon. So yeah, they're just going to scoop because... Yeah, the game is ogre. So, if you're an Infernoble player in the in the in the chats or in, watching this video, and you think there was a better uh, choke point than what I did there, because I thought Azul was an obvious choice, right, to pop, and then uh, obviously I I did the Ice Dragons banish on the the two monsters, right, the two warrior monsters. And by the way, Ice Dragons come back from the graveyard thanks to Lovely. So I'm gonna completely wreck their deck via using Ice Dragons. But yeah, if you're an Infernoble player. And you know, and you know better than me because you know the deck better. Uh, please let me know if I could have been, I could have done something better. So yeah. So duel number twenty-one. This is Labyrinth versus Purely. So I almost never encountered Purely. Uh, this was like the first time I, like one of the first, because again, I, I was on a break last year. I completely missed the entire format where Purely was a top deck and when it was being played. I, I haven't seen Purely in the TCG, and I almost never see it in Master Duel. This is maybe the second Purely deck I've ever seen, like, period. Um, I think the other one being in, like, one of the my Yu-Gi-Oh! Mega. Anyway, so I'm not entirely sure what the deck does. All I know, it puts up some kind of tower monster that uh, can bounce some cards or whatever, and it's unaffected by activated effects. But the cool thing about it is that monster can be added by Karma Cannon, so... Anyway, they're going to do some stuff. I don't really know what's going on. So if you want to enlighten me, well, yeah, they're, they're just going to summon some, some little cat thingies, uh, eventually make an XCs, and then they're going to attach a bunch of quick quick plays, right? So, yeah, they make a plump, attach, attach. Yeah, they're, they're trying to make put it like five or six materials. So they're going to add a thing. Okay, the field spell, which is, yeah, I guess pretty good. So yeah, so they end on a a six ma six material this guy right, and then they're gonna set a card. So yeah, obviously I have evenly matched, uh, which is great. Uh, obviously they're gonna keep this monster because it's their boss monster, right? Uh, I don't really, n yeah, this is like a insane monstrosity. So yeah, apparently because they have a attached level one, uh, they can just detach the materials and, and bounce cards to my deck, which is pretty insane, right? So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and... Yeah, so they're going to attach seven materials now. Uh, I'm, yeah, so they're going to draw a card. Uh, battle phase, evenly. So taking out these two spells is very good because it's like a lot of their engine recursion comes back from these cards. So, yeah, so those are all banished. So they have nothing except monsters now. Uh, yeah, and I just go to end phase. Because I read this, I'm like, wait, if I just set a bunch of cards, aren't they, he's just going to bounce it to my deck. So I just said, fuck it. I kind of hope I want. I kind of want a top deck. I, I wish I had a, a transaction rollback because then I can Torby send rollback and then evenly with zero cards on the field and then they they're forced to send this away, right? So, yeah, they're uh, at this point. I figured okay, they can only bounce up to three cards and I have like a few cards, right? So I'm gonna set Torby, activate field spell, set 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 summon lady, and I'm gonna go to end phase and they're not gonna bounce any of my cards. I don't understand why. If if you're a purely player and get why they didn't because uh, this is a quick effect if, if it has a level one purely monster doesn't it? Uh, I don't know. They don't bounce any of my cards, so I'm I'm, I'm confused. Anyway, I'm just gonna karma cannon this shit because I don't want him using the slow because he has some slow effects off the quick plays. They're gonna chain this to bounce uh, trap trick. Uh, I'm gonna trap trick chain lady, and I'm gonna big welcome here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get lovely out. Uh, let's let's bounce stove and let's pop this card. 
So it was called by the grave. That's fine. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to set uh, a welcome off lady. And then I'm going to set uh karma cannon off trap trick. Cause karma cannon is, is cracked. So it's such a good card, right? So that goes away. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I don't get a pop obviously, but, uh, that's fine. Anyway, they're going to try to make another tower essentially. So they're going to search the thing. Uh, yep. Excavate a thing. Make another fucking thing here, right? So it now has, uh, gonna get four materials. They steal my car mechanic, which is interesting. I mean, I guess they don't want me to recycle it off. Lovely, right? So now they have four materials. I decide I'm gonna car mechanic again. And now, uh, yeah, they can't make the boss monster. So that's cool. And uh, these these uh, cards here say, uh, oh, when a face up pure exceeds monster leaves the field, something happens. But they don't have a face up exceeds monster, so. I top deck Aura, which is great. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and reset Karma Cannon. They have DD Crow. Okay, so they're going to DD Crow my Karma Cannon. Wow, they really don't want me to have this. That's funny. Okay. Uh, I'm going to welcome here uh, Chain Lady. Uh, they're going to use this to say uh, uh, the first time a card would be destroyed, a card effect is not destroyed. So I decide, okay, uh, I'm going to... So they might be, try to protect their, their monster. So I'm just going to go ahead and big welcome the monster away. So yeah, so uh, now this this card is protected. Yeah, and then Ice Dragons comes out because I notice all their monsters are fairies, right? Fairy, fairy, or rather, all their purelies are fairies and their XCs are also fairies, right? Uh, so yeah, uh, so I'm going to bring Lady out, uh, pop the field spell using my field spell, and a lovely effect to pop the card in hand. There's a drill. Yeah, this game is, is over. That, this is lethal, right? Goodbye. But yeah, like, there's no way they they recover resources. Like, they top deck any purely monster, I Ice Dragons it immediately. And then Chain Lovely to pop the... the it's like, there, there's no there's no hope for them anymore, right? So, I don't know why he didn't bounce a bunch of cards when he had a chance. Who knows? Um, yeah. Uh, this is like the second purely deck I've ever played. So, yeah, I, I have... The only card I have spec to beat this deck is like, like Karma Cannon, essentially. Or, you know, going first, you can Solemn Strike the level 5, uh, or the the the, the, the big uh, rank, uh, rank 7, so that it can't summon it to begin with. So, anyway. Yeah, so if you're a purely player, in the comments, uh, feel free to chime in, because, again, I don't... Other than making that tower, I don't really know what else the deck does, right? Um, or, like, if there's a... What the choke points are, like, did I Karma Cannon the right point? I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, so let's let's move on. All right, uh, duel number 22. Uh, just a few more replays left here. Um, yeah, but the, but the yeah the Duelist Cup had, has come to a conclusion at this point. Um, yeah, I couldn't, couldn't get any more games in. I do go first. I don't remember what this was. I said Trap Trick, Ice Dragons, well... All right, so I'm going to big welcome here. They're going to Ash Blossom to negate it. I'm not going to bother with Solemn Strike because I have a Trap Trick that can go to a regular welcome if necessary. I also have a Lord that can search out, uh, set out another big welcome from deck. So, again, getting Ash never fucking matters uh, when you're playing Labyrinth. Um, it only starts getting annoying when they have, like, three Ashes and they Ash it three times in a row. Then it's annoying. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Anyway. Oh, yeah, this is Brandon. Uh, so, yeah. Car Blazing Cartesian. Then they're going to... Uh, Branded opening into a Luber. Uh, they're going to Luber to search Branded Fusion. At this point, Branded Fusion is at one. They have two cards in hand and f uh, a, a larger than 40 card deck. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Solemn Strike this so they do not get to search their Branded Fusion. So, sorry, no Branded Fusion for you. Let's see if you hard draw it. They do not. Uh, Nadir Servant, uh, Garura into Maximus. Uh, Garura is going to draw them a card. Uh, Maximus is going to summon. So, they're locked out of Fusing for the rest of the turn. So, they're just going to... Uh, Maximus, they send Titanoclad and uh, Albion. So basically, this is just to set up the subsequent turn. I send Garura and Cypher and Lord Omega. So why do I not send uh, um, uh, Entis? Uh, there's no real... I want to save my Entis. There's no real point in popping Maximus right now or Cartesia. Uh, these cards don't matter. Like she, They can't fuse this turn anyway, right? So it's a little pointless. Plus, Cartesia is going to recycle at the end of the turn anyway because of 
they sent a fusion monster. So yeah, I decide I'm gonna get a draw one and I'm gonna send Omega. Uh, the reason I'm sending Omega is because I want to shuffle back a card from their graveyard. Um, I could shuffle back Brandon opening so they don't have the fusion protection, or I can shuffle back whatever um, uh, uh, Titanic Cloud ends up dumping. Uh, so Guru draws me Shandraglier. So now they set a card. Okay. And now they're going to Albion set Brandon Banishment. So this gives them the ability to fuse, right? All right. So now that they actually have a card that I want to pop, uh, on end phase, I'm going to Trap Trick into Punishment. Uh, summon, summon Lord here. Lord's going to set out a big welcome from deck. Uh, I doubt this last card is Ash, right? Uh, I'm going to Punishment onto the Cartesia. So now I send Entis, and now Entis is going to pop uh, this card here, which is Brandon Banishment. So now they do, do, do not have a Fusion follow-up. And obviously uh, Titanoclad will sums out Quem. Uh, Quem is going to mill Fallen of Albaz, and then uh, this Cartesia is going to uh, recycle back to hand. So that's all fine and dandy. Cartesia is not on the field, so it cannot fuse. Um, I took out Brandon Banishment, so that's one few less ability to fuse. So attack position. I'm going to use Omega to bounce Fallen of Albaz back into their deck. So clearly they put it there because uh, via Quem. So I'm 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 saying using Omega say uh, no that goes back. So no Fallen of Abaz uh, for them to do any uh, fusion shenanigans, right? Uh, battle phase. Let's kill the Quem. Still battle phase. Big welcome. Uh, yeah. So they don't have Ash. Uh, Bounce Lord. Lovely is gonna pop. I'm gonna pop their face down. Oh look, it's Super Poly. Ah, oh, what a beautiful pop. What a beautiful pop. Uh, Lovely is gonna reset. Big welcome. Uh, yeah. Obviously I can't kill Maximus, but again. Maximus is not a problem. Uh, Ma if they, if Maximus uses effect, they're locked out of the extra deck. So basically, they're only going to use Maximus if I stop all their fusion plays, right? Uh, so they can send Albion again and, and whatever. So, Lord, and I'm going to Shandraglier. Uh, go ahead and use this field spell. Yeah, I don't need the clock right now. So yeah, so Ice Dragon is very good, um, as you'll soon see. So he, uh, he does top deck Springen's Kit. Springen's Kit does search Branded Fusion. So that's another way they can get to Branded Fusion. So they are going to play Branded Fusion. Uh, but I do have... Uh, so if they summon out uh, Mirror Jade, like let's say they go Lubellion to Mirror Jade, um, I can literally big welcome to take out Mirror Jade, right? Uh, and he won't be able to respond with Mirror Jade because Lovely's ability says if I use a trap card, they can't respond with monster effects. So my, my uh, Lovely... Or, and Lady would be protected from any Mirror Jade banishes, right? So this is actually fine if they get uh, go, go into Mirror Jade here. So they actually send, they actually go greedy, and they go into Albion. So they send Lubellion and then Albaz, right? And now Albion is going to attempt to uh, fuse by banishing Albaz from their graveyard, right? I assume they do not have Albaz in hand, although they, they could, right? So uh, this is where they get greedy here, right? Uh, I'm going to chain Ice Dragons on and target their Albaz. If I banish Albaz and Albion, uh, two things happen. One, uh, if they don't have an Albaz in hand, because they don't have another one in Graveyard, uh, this Fuse, they will not be able to fuse into Lubellion or uh, Mirror Jade. Uh, number two, by banishing Albion, um, they will not be they will not be able to summon um, Lubellion off of that, uh, which means they will not get a, a search for a Branded card uh, spell trap, and they will not be able to get the Albion effect to uh, search on the end phase. So yeah, this is this accomplishes so many things, right? So yeah, so they cannot, they end up not being able to make. So they they banish Titanclad and Quem instead, because they have to do a fusion if, if possible, and they make uh, Despian Quertus. So they're gonna use uh, a Luber to try to negate Lovely, uh, but Lovely effect to pop uh, Channel Two, uh, Shandragler return to hand three, uh, Field Spell to summon four, uh, Big Welcome five. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm going to bounce Lovely and pop Maximus. The reason I pop Maximus is because um, uh, Despian Quiritus is not a threat to me at all, right? So, as you'll soon see, right? So, I pop Maximus because I don't want them to send any cards as follow-up, right? But this Quiritus is, like, fucking useless. Literally does nothing, right? Uh, if it's destroyed, uh, special kick summon Fallen Albus from back, but it's not going to be destroyed. So, who clock comes back? Drag like here, and then I pop the card in hand. I know it's Blazing Cartesia because uh, they added to hand on the end phase. So now they can't even summon Blazing Cartesia and perform another fusion. This is it. This is the end board. They have no f follow ups in the graveyard. This is their board, right? Uh, I mean, a Luber comes back, but who cares? Uh, and then our end effects will search uh, and chain Lord. So Lord will summon in defense, set a card from deck. Uh, Ariana summon, searches Lady. I can summon Lady. Despian Quarantus cannot attack over any of these monsters except Ariana and maybe Ku Clock. 
So yeah, they're just going to surrender because on my subsequent turn, they're completely fucked, right? And in fact, if they didn't surrender here, I literally use um, Shandranglier to pitch Lovely to, to, to the graveyard to pull, bring out a big welcome, right? And then their entire board is clear next turn, and I and I probably attack for a game. So they, they're just going to surrender because there's nothing they can do here. Yeah, so total shellacking. Uh, Ash Blossom, once again, did absolutely nothing. That's great. Um, yeah, let's go to the next game. Oh, I remember this game. So this is duel number 23. Uh, Labyrinth versus Math Mech Adagnister, and I do go second uh, into a Math Mech Adagnister. So, <laughs> oh man, this this duel was fucking hilarious. As you'll, as you'll see just by my opening hand how hilarious this duel is. Yes, you saw that right. That is a sphere mode. Earlier in this video, I mentioned how most of my losses in the Duelist Cup going second were was specifically the Super Heavy Samurai. So there were significantly more Super Heavy Samurai that I've seen in the, uh, in Duelist Cup than in, in the uh, ranked. In ranked, I saw almost none. In in, in this cup, I saw quite a, quite a bit. Uh, and going second in Super Heavy Samurai without uh, access to sphere mode re really sucks. You ba basically just have to hope that you, you open... A Psalm Strike or Utopian Aura, right? So, Sphere Mode is back on the menu. Um, so yeah, I am running Sphere Mode. St I'm still running evenly matched, right? I had to make a few cuts elsewhere. So yeah, so I'm like, oh shit, I, I Chi Chi Agnister. Oh, I haven't seen Agnister deck forever. So I'm assuming they're the Agnister. They're, they're going to end on the the arrival Cyber Side Agnister, and my one out to that is Karma Cannon. So Karma Cannon completely wrecks uh, Ad Agnister, right? So I'm not too worried here. So they're going to do their Ad Agnister thing. So I, I'm thinking Sphere Mode is dead, right? Because oh, they're just going to end on, on the arrival Cybers, right? Okay. So they're doing a bunch of Agnes or stuff. And then I see a Math Mech addition, like, or uh, subtraction. I'm like, wait, Math Mech subtraction? What the fuck? Uh, okay. And then they make <laughs> a Math Mech Alimertian, and then they search Circular. Oh, wait a minute. This is a Math Mech Agnister? What the fuck is the end board supposed to be? Is it supposed to be the arrival cybers and all the math mech cards that you normally see? Because if so, that's like nuts, right? Also, that's so much engine and like no no hand traps or like tech cards, right? Yeah, this dude is kind of a, a, like a madman, right? Like, <laughs> like Ignis, math mech adding this here. That is quite, yeah. So they go into the firewall dragon line. So which is math mech stuff, right? I'm just like, okay, cool. When's the arrival adding this are going to come out? Yeah, there's a math mech, uh, circular, sub, uh, sigma. They go into equation. So so far they have not searched uh, super factorial. They make uh, dark templar. They revive a thing. They revive another thing. There's a wind pegasus. Okay, cool. Dark infant. Okay. G golem crystal heart. Okay. Revive transcode. Make a a link six, <laughs> uh, firewall dragon. Okay. When does the uh, arrival at Ignister come out? The cyber arrival cybers. Where is it? They make another splash. Splash mage. I swear they use splash mage. No. Huh. Maybe I'm crazy. I I could have sworn they were use. No, they use a uh, cybers wicked. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> cool. Cool stuff, bro. Oh, he could talk her. Nico Talker Hitzel. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, is this the end board? Nope. They're still going to do stuff. They draw a card. Summon. Search. AI, AI Reborn. Okay. Wow. Look, look at this fucking board. A Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid. So they end on a Link 6, a Link 4, and a Link 5. So this is like a Link 15 in terms of materials, right? Is this, is this it? Oh, no, they're still going? Okay. So they are on exactly three monsters. <laughs> Let's see their deck. Their deck is down to 26 cards. Their, their extra deck is down to one card. <laughs> oh, man. What a... This guy is actually mentally deranged. Here's why. First of all, this board kind of looks like the board that regular Math Mech makes. Right? What's the point of this? Like, how is this board much different from what just pure Math Mech makes, right? I've seen this dude in Math Mech decks. I'm pretty sure I've seen this dude. This dude, maybe not. I don't remember these token thingies. But, uh, yeah, so they have a monster negate. Is this once per turn? Is this, uh, it's not once per turn. So two negate, two monster negates specifically. 
This is a uh, a targeted bounce once per game, uh, once per while it's face up on the field. A targeted bounce that can bounce up to so if it's co-linked, so it's co-linked to two. So uh, number of monsters co-linked to this card. So yeah, so two bounces, right? And this is a target cards you control in your graveyard return to the hand. So more bounces, right? Up to the number of ritual fusion synchro XCs. Uh, they have uh, XCs and a, and a synchro. So basically, uh, four bounces and two monster negates. Cool. And then, yeah, their, their extra deck is completely gone. They have one set card, which I'm guessing is in perm, right? Because, I don't know, maybe it's not in perm. And then a card in hand. Cool. So I'm going to top deck uh, field spell. All right, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and draw. They don't have a, an omni negate, right? <laughs> I draw it's an evenly match it's like it's like to put even more salt in the wound right so then <laughs> goodbye board battle phase evenly <laughs> they keep the field spell which is weird like why don't you keep it in perm but uh yeah they have one card in hand their extra deck has one card <laughs> is that the arrival cybers like where the fuck is the arrival cybers why are you playing adding mister if you're not even going to go into that the arrival cybers like this this board this end board is like strictly worse than a math bag board because at least with super factorial you can like try to snipe a card in my hand or something right like and, and maybe snipe transaction rollback lol but <laughs> yeah so then i activate field spell and then they scoop <laughs> Uh, this game was completely yeah, completely over. But yeah, oh, so satisfying. Okay, right? man, he, I, I shed I shed a lot in stream mode last la, uh, last uh, after the last rank saying it was on the chopping block because uh, you know uh, <laughs> oh you don't want to see it going first you know like in certain matchups you, you know they don't have three monsters right um brand a lot of branded boards actually do end on three monsters uh if they do the full combo. Uh, Snake Eyes does, Super Heavy does, so it's not bad. Like it evenly is better against uh, Snake Eyes, in my opinion, right? Um, and obviously, if you Sphere Mode a Snake well, Snake Eyes board, like they they just recycle a bunch of monsters, right? Like well, you hit what uh, Amblo Whale, IP, and Flamberge, right? And then Flamberge immediately recycles, right? Uh, two cards, so it's not you know it, it, evenly is just better, right? <laughs> yeah, so but because I was having trouble going second against Super Heavy Samurai specifically, I decided, all right, I'm going to put Sphere Mode back in. I'm sure there are other decks that Sphere Mode is going to hit, like this one, right? And and I kid you not, this is the first game I play with Sphere Mode in my deck. I, I recorded the replay. I saved this replay because it's so funny, right? <laughs> my deranged opponent spends, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Like, I literally just went to, like, AFK and went to take a dump, right? <laughs> this dude just... Summons out his entire extra deck, except one card in his extra deck, which I assume is maybe it's access code. Who knows? I, I mean, he didn't. I didn't see an access code. Maybe he doesn't bother with the uh, arrival cyber. I don't know. But fourteen out of his fifteen extra deck cards, half of his deck <laughs> to put out a fifteen link fifteen worth of, of material monsters, right? And then I literally just <laughs> sphere mode goodbye. <laughs> I didn't even need evenly, but evenly was just that salt in the wound. It's like, yeah, I wonder what I'm gonna draw off of my pot of extravagance. Oh, evenly matched. <laughs> I mean, I would have rather drawn a furniture so I can pitch this this uh, rollback. But I mean, big welcome can go into like there's no point, right? Like they have no resources left. But it's just it's just so funny that the fact that they did not instantly scoop after the sphere mode. No, they only scooped. They didn't. They did not instantly scoop after the evenly. No, they scooped after I activated the labyrinth field spell. I'm like, uh, bro, you have literally zero resources left. Like, what the fuck? Are you, what the fuck you think you're gonna do here, right? So, uh, that was a satisfying. <laughs> oh, sphere mode, baby, how I missed you! How I missed you! If only I had you for some of these super heavy samurai uh, decks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, this game like single-handedly convinced me to keep sphere mode. It's like, yeah, we're we're going sphere mode and evenly. We're doing it. Fuck it. When RS comes out, maybe we'll cut uh, sphere mode because RS is just like, you know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> all right. Let's go into the final duel. This duel is a lot more interesting. Uh, this is uh, duel number twenty-four. Uh, Labyrinth versus Menadium, Tier Limit Men Menadium Cashier. It's it's the the fucking Visa Starfrost deck. Like they like people call it a Menadium deck, but like what Menadium cards do they end on? They end on what Calamity, Barone, uh, Dissipator. Like they end on zero uh, Menadium cards. Maybe 
some people and on Manadium reframing, that's it. But it's it's not a Manadium deck. Like I don't know why people call it Manadium, but whatever. So I go second. No, I go first. Yeah, so I have evenly going first. Not great. Uh, Lord, uh, Foolish Burial Goods. I'm going to send Transaction Rollback because I have Trenchal. Uh, Lord can just set Welcome from its its effect, right? So I basically have Double Trenchal Solemn Strike here. Okay. So Peaceful Planet. There's a Room Heart. Rhoda into Reich Heart. Normal Summon, Rhino Heart. Uh, pitch, uh, Havness. Havness is... Uh, and then chain this. Having this will fuse. Went to Kikalos. Okay. Kikalos. Uh, and then men name Room Heart to Chain. Uh, search Obsidian. And then they're going to send the, the other name, Shiren. So, ever since, in Master Duel, uh, because they lost uh, Merly, they can only they can only uh, fuse using Havness and and Shiren, right? So they need to fuse twice in order to get to a, a, a boss monster. So all you have to do is, is negate one of the fusions, and then they don't get to a boss monster. So they're going to attempt to fuse with Shiren. I'm going to say no to that. Like, no fusion for you. So now Shiren's just stuck in the in the graveyard here. And since this is a one of, it's like, uh, where's it a two of? I don't know. It doesn't fucking matter. But yeah, so then uh, this is going to... Yeah, so they're going to summon back to Shiren and send Kikalos. Mill five. What's the point of milling when they have no way of fusing anymore? Like... I honestly don't know what the point of this mill was, right? Um, maybe they just want to get Visa Starfrost in the graveyard so they can make Astrolab. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I expected them to, 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 to summon more, but they just go to battle. Oh, wait, is your turn over? I didn't get the Torrential. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, right? So, all right, I, I top deck a welcome. So, Lord, is that welcome? So they're going to uh, normal, going to Reichardt here, uh, Arrival, Lightheart, yep. I'm not going to Torrential for a while, yeah. Basically, I only Torrential when they have, like, a lot of bodies, basically. So there's a Triheart, Summon. So technically, Lord, like, so, uh, Lord of the Heavenly Prison is protecting my back row, so uh, the... Uh, Scareclaw Field Spell reads that if there are three p defense position monsters, they can target a card your opponent controls, pop it, right? So technically, Lord of the Heavenly Prison is protecting um, all that from happening, right? Uh, however, uh, this guy here is now at 3,900 attack, and if I if I want to summon Lord off of Welcome, right, I want I don't want him to have 3,900 attack. I want to have 3,000 attack so he can't I'm not beat over Lord, right? Um, so I decided that I'm actually going to Torrential Tribute here. I'm aware that they have a, um, uh, a rival, which can protect the Link 3 only, but it'll kill all the other monsters. But the point is, I want to get Lord out. Oh, no, no, not yet, not yet. I want to get, uh, I'm going to welcome here. They're going to max you, that's fine. I'm going to welcome into the Ar into Ariana. Ariana is going to search la uh, Lady, and Lord is going to summon out now. So now, uh, I'm going to hold on to Lady and only summon her later. But the point is that uh, I'm daring him to attack my monsters because he he can he still hasn't triggered the planet yet, and he has there's two defense position monsters. So he actually decides to skip battle phase, summon defense because he wants to use his field spell. On this summon, I roll back into Tarantula, and I blow up the board. So he does not get the field spell. I get rid of his his uh, boss monster, and now he just ends on one card, one set card, right? And this card is 100,000% imperm. It's like the most telegraph shit ever. It's like, oh, that's a nice imperm you got there. It'd be a shame if you wouldn't be, you couldn't use it because there are no monsters you can target. So, speaking of no cards for the target, I set Trap Trick. Because uh, I, I want to flip this and chain lady. And I don't want him to imper me, right? So attack. Uh, big welcome chain lady. I'm going to set uh, punishment here. Pop li uh, Lady is going to attempt to pop. Welcome will return. Uh, they're going to imperm now, which is, of course, they are. Like Again, if they don't imperm, I pop the imperm. And then l lovely resets a card. So, yeah. It's so predictable. Like these, these, these sad little imperms are so predictable. It's like, bro, you'll, you'll, ne you've like these people never ac actually accomplish anything with these imperms. It's that's the thing. Ashes and imperms, 
Baylor's, whatever. Nibiru's do nothing to me. Like that, that's the hilarious part. They, they, they're, they, they're basically worthless against my deck, right? Which is satisfying because, like, oh, nice, car, nice, car, nice ultra rares uh, cr uh, cards you craft there. It'd be a shame if they were worthless, right? Anyway, so I swing. Uh, Lovely's gonna. Uh, so the reason I want to, uh, I use Lovely, even though I know she's negated, is I want to see if they're dumb enough to chain Valor. <laughs> I just want to see if they try to chain Valor here, right? Maybe they're that dumb. I don't know. Oh. Actually, they can't even chain Valor because they have no vile targets in the gate. All right, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I have lots of interruptions. I have essentially two pops here, one pop here, a bounce off Big Welcome. Uh, and then I have a trap here that can literally go into anything, right? Uh, and then Welcome can go into Ariana, and Ariana searches Ku Clock, and then Ku Clock is, uh, allows me to use whatever card I search off Lady, right? So they're gonna summon some stuff. Uh, only two defense position monsters right now. I'm, I'm keeping my eye out before they use a field spell, right? So they summon Visa Starfrost, and then, uh, they send that to the graveyard. Why don't they send this? Oh, because you have to send a monster of the same... Yeah, because he, he brought a, a warrior, he had to send a warrior. Yeah, that's why. So this is going to return. Okay. There's a cross sheep. All right, so this is the most telegraphed move I've ever seen in my life. So uh, I, I, I've re I read this guy like a book. Like, I have this dude's number. I just have his number, right? The reason he searched Visa Star Frost is because he wants to go into Astro Loud, right? He needs a Visa Star Frost in his field or graveyard. So he has one in his graveyard now. Now, Astro Loud is not an activated effect. He simply summons it, and he summons it to the uh, one of the zones that Cross Sheep points to, in this case. Uh, and when he does, uh, Cross Sheep will uh, allow him a special level 4 monster lower from his graveyard, which, which is an extender, right? Very telegraph shit. And then when he summons Astro Loud, he can use Astro Loud to pop Lovely, in which case uh, I don't get to use Lovely's uh, pop effect. Or he can use Astro Loud to pop Havness, which, uh, since Havness will be destroyed by card effect, will allow him to perform a fusion between ha Havness and Kekalos and go into um, uh, the... Oh, what, what's that fucking tier limit monster called? Uh, the 3000 one. The, the one that can negate summons. Whatever. Point is... I know what he's trying to do, so I decide, uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna stop all of that. So first, I'm gonna activate punishment. He can't respond because I have lovely target cross sheep. So th that not only am I removing him the ability to get another special summon, but this link two can no longer link be used to link climb further, right, into like a uh, access code or whatever, right? Chain lady, I'm gonna set ice dragons from deck. Why ice dragons? Because uh, Astraloud is a fairy type, and so is uh, Meek. So if I have the option of, of uh, banishing Astralout and Meek using Ice Dragons. Uh, obviously, Ice Dragons is here. I have to get uh, Ku Klok uh, into my hand and then use Ku Klok. Uh, number two, if he uses Astro summons Astralout and targets Havness to pop Havness, I chain Ice Dragons. Uh, Kikalos is an Aqua and Havness is an Aqua. So I literally banish that and then they're, they're entire. Their entire he's left with a single astral loud right which can be stopped with a, a big welcome bounce or i can go into a trap trick guru a karma cannon right so i completely have this dude's number like everything he wants to do i will prevent him from doing so a uh, lovely one enters two uh i will not be popping haveness obviously because with lovely because that's going to trigger a fusion right so i'm going to pop the field spell and i'm going to pop a card in hand i happen to pop uh, this which is good because uh Oh, well, they already normal summon, but just in case they had uh, Telemans Cash Tira in hand, they cannot get an, another extra body via this guy. So this is a, this this snipe was fine, right? Cool. And now I'm going to welcome into Ariana. Ariana Effect will search me Ku Clock, and then I'll activate Ku Clock, and now Ice Dragons is live. So now, what is he going to do? Oh, look, he's going to banish Visas and make Astro Loud. Who is he going to pop with Astro Loud? Is he going to pop Lovely with that already user effect? Or is he going to pop... Oh, look, he, he's going to pop Havness. Hmm, okay. That's a cool pop he got there. It'd be a shame if I interrupted it. So I'm going to Ice Dragons. Uh, target Kikalos. And banish that shit. No fusion for you, motherfucker. Your tier engine is completely dead. You literally don't have a tier engine anymore when your one copy of Havness is gone and your one copy of Kikalos. It's, it's Ogre. It's it's Kashira Ogre for you. 
So all he has is a 3k beater. So what's he going to do now? Battle phase? Uh, okay, uh, goodbye. Bounce. <laughs> and now he end phase. Bro. He Main phase 2, he sets this card in this column right here. Gee, I wonder what card that is. Is it possibly infinite impermanence? Let's find out, shall we? But before I find out, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull, use a magic trick where I, I change the column of my trap card <laughs> and phase trap trick into big welcome. Set big welcome right here in this column. <laughs> oh man, this is so funny. I, like. I just completely cucked both of his imperms. It's it's the funniest shit ever, right? He's at 2100, so I literally just swing for game, right? This is imperm. It's garbage. He does nothing, right? I don't know why he hasn't scooped. Like, he knows I have game, right? So, all right, cool. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, bro. This is. Oh, man. I completely have this dude's number. Like, he, there was. Compl like, a, like a fiddle. It's just like. Ah, uh, it was beautiful. Beautiful. See, this is this is what happens when you know what, what your opponent's deck does, right? Earlier, when I played that ninja deck, I had no fucking clue what ninja does, right? You saw how absolute sloppy of a clown fiesta that game was, right? And how clean this game was. You see the difference? All, all the difference between that is knowing what things do, knowing <laughs> what your opponent's car does, knowing how their deck plays, knowing what your opponent wants to do, right? Versus having no fucking clue what my opponent's doing, because this is a bunch of ninja shit, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Sat very satisfying final game. I hope you, you enjoyed this one as much as I did. Actually, the last two, like, the sphere mode was hilarious, and <laughs> sphere mode into evenly, right? And then, uh, of course, uh, uh, yeah, this this one. Uh, yeah, sphere mode. Oh, just draw the out, bro. Like, oh, just draw the out, right? Just draw sphere mode and even, and you'll win every game going second. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, so sphere mode has made it back into my deck. Uh, that's the end of this uh, video, unfortunately. Um, yeah, uh, the next video will probably be me doing my, finishing my rank climb to master one. I'll probably ret hold on, uh, retain the sphere mode just in case. Uh, some people do st are do take super heavy samurai into uh, ranked, even though I haven't seen it there. I don't know. Maybe if people play the duelist cup and they ran into super heavy, maybe that encourages them to want to play super heavy, and now they're gonna play super heavy. I don't know. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on this remote for now uh, as I do my rank climb, and then I'll decide uh, by the end of it. And if you ever see a, de a deck list, um, you'll know if I have if I ended up on super mode or not. But anyway. Hope you enjoyed this game uh, and learned something. Yeah, knowing what your opponent's cards do, very important to winning Yu-Gi-Oh. It's, it's crazy how important of a skill that is, right? Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Peace.